Hello and welcome everybody to another Grand Valley Game Changers Valorant broadcast. Back here with Evan and my one of my best buddies, Ben here. Hello. Ready to ready to do his first casting yes. outing here. Exceptionally happy to be here. Absolutely. So we're playing the Ring Ling Rollers once again. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you guys saw our Grand Valley Lakers absolutely roll the rollers. That's true. Uh, that's true. Pun intended. Uh, so we're hoping for another quick, um, just another quick and easy game. Hopefully yeah. for our game changers. Two zero. Two zero. I have heard rumors um, that if we do like kind of. Destroy him a little bit on the first map. We might be doing a little bit of a, some troll we're, character we're picks. We're going to cook a little bit. We're going to cook a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they're, they're crafting something up in there. They always are. Yeah. Um, so we're super excited. We do have map picks. I believe it was uh, a sent map or bind map one, I should say. Uh, Grand Valley starting bind. attack. Yes. yes. Uh, map two was, let's see, Sam, map two. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, we're asking. Split, map two, GV also attack, and then map three, decider, will be Lotus, and GV starts on defense on Lotus. Uh, so what do you think, Ben? Are we going to see some Clove gameplay tonight? I think that we'll definitely, if we get to a decider map, I think we're definitely going to see some Clove. I've definitely seen her in my own personal solo queue games. Yes. So it'll be really interesting to see if we see her on Bind Agreed. over something like an Omen or yes. a Viper, which has been really popular in PCT. I feel like Lotus, I've seen Clove a lot. Bind, I've seen Clove a lot, and a little bit of like uh, Split as well. Yeah. Anything with like those typical maps that Omen plays that have like yeah. the, s the small smoke lines, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, as best Omen NA would, would understand. Uh, yes. <laughs> and it's kind of sad to see my little guy fall out of the kind of the, the favor here, but yes. uh, it'll be really interesting to see what Clove can do and if she can function because her smokes last so much shorter than they're, every other controller. They're the like the, sl like the fastest smokes I've ever seen in my life, yeah. um, which does make it more balanced. Than it maybe does, we initially does. thought she was going to be. Yeah, like we thought she was. Or I personally thought she was going to be very overpowered. Yeah, I mean the 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 only being able to smoke in the area that you die at is is obviously kind of uh, kind of huge. What's kind of silly though is that they do recharge uh, yeah. when she is dead. You can have infinite smokes. Yeah, infinite smokes. I mean, even when you die, I think I don't even think the the timer refreshes when you die. Like if I you no if idea. you die and you instantly or you have like one second left, mm -hmm. you don't have to wait. You instantly get that smoke. Yeah, still. that's crazy. So that is crazy. But I don't know. <laughs> We'll Great see. Agent. We'll see how our wonderful game changers manage yes. to utilize Clove and yes. to if, their fullest if, effect. If they play them. Yes. Right. If or or the Ringling Rollers. Yes. Yeah, if, that's true if too. I, if either team chooses. Yeah. Uh, but we know that we love our Lakers. Oh, absolutely. So. Anchor up, everybody. Yes. So uh, we will be getting into the map pretty soon here. I'm pretty sure that the game changers are running an escalation as it's for we speak. Warm up. It's for warm-up. Yeah, warm up. just a quick little warm-up, you know, in our beautiful Laker Esports Center. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a cam view here. Yeah, there we go. Um, Old guy in the back. Not sure We've who that got is. The team dad <laughs> in the background. Yes, <laughs> that's actually <laughs> might be Coach Galaxy's dad. <laughs> it might be actually just Galaxy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy, Galaxy in his old man form after uh, after watching all of our our camera or our Valorant uh, our Valorant game changers play <laughs> play their games and just rolling them. It's not even not even fun anymore. So we're gonna cut quickly to the GVSU advertisement that we show you every week, and we'll see you right back here. Now more than ever, the world needs thinkers, doers, and problem solvers. At GVSU, we're committed to preparing students for whatever comes next. We provide the knowledge, skills, and experience you need to take advantage of a lifetime of opportunities. And a typical Grand Valley grad earns more than twice as much as a person with only a high school diploma. Be ready for whatever's next. Choose Grand Valley State University. All right. So as we say every single week, choose Grand Valley State That's University. That's right. I'm right? A personally, I am a Grand Valley alum, and I, I'm still here. So that <laughs> must here. say something. Living on the off-campus apartment. <sighs> yeah. Did you have a power outage yesterday? I did not. I heard a crazy story that there were some people in one of the south apartments on campus who were in an elevator oh. during the power outage, and like the elevator fell, and oh. then the power came back on, and they like did like stopped. I don't know, man, but. I you know, my power did flick for a second, but yeah. that was it. And I remember saying in Discord, I was like, "My power just flicked." I wonder I, if someone yes. forgot to pay the power bill. Yes, as we were as we were playing competitive ranked Valorant matches yeah. last night. Uh, we only took dubs. 
and that Only might W's be a here. slight, slight. It might be a slight fib meter a, yeah, up here, light, little fib. Yeah, for sure. but maybe fifty percent, fifty percent win rate. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I that crazy that story was crazy. I think most of Grand Valley lost power last night. Really? Yes, I was seeing so many people posting on like Yik Yak and things like that that they couldn't huh. have Wi-Fi. The gym was closed. Like really crazy. So uh, I went to school here back during the polar vortex in 2019. <laughs> yes, and that was miserable. Classes were shut down for a whole week. And, like, pretty much nothing was open except fresh. I wish classes were shut down for a whole week right now. Yeah, but think about it. Like, when you're paying for them, you know. Yeah, yeah but, like, also at this point, it's April. The semester's already over. That's I've true. gotten my fill of my That's knowledge. True. It like, is April. Yeah. It is, dude. It's like, it, whether I go to class or not, I mean, am I going to get anything out of it at this point in the semester? Oh, yeah, probably. Because your parents are probably watching. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you might get something out of it, right? I just sent my mom my grades today. Oh, yeah? They're good. Yeah. That's good. All did A's she approve? Yeah, she did. She said, good. nice job. She said, nice job. Uh, but anyways, we're hoping for a quick 2-0 again, like we talked about for the Ring Ring Lollers. Uh, bind, we're super strong on Bind. Um, quick 2-0 for Grand Valley. Yes, yes. <laughs> 2-0 <laughs> for Grand Valley, sorry, <laughs> against the Ringling Rollers. Yes. Uh, anyways, super strong on Bind. We've seen Bind and Lotus gameplay a lot here. Um, it's just super exciting. We haven't seen Split very much uh, from either the Game Changers or the Premier team this year, I don't S think. Split's kind of a weird map. Split yeah. is a weird map, but I, I like Split a lot, actually. I do, too. I think um, it's fun. Do you think yeah. – what kind of agents do you think we're going to see on Bind from our Lakers? Rays, absolutely. Definitely. Slim Definitely. usually plays uh, the Rays. Yeah, uh, Slim's always on Rays from what yes. I've seen. Uh, we do see Sadie a lot on kind of like a controller slash Sentinel. So kinda. do you think you think like Omen? You think Clove? She plays Omen a lot actually, like especially on Lotus. She mm -hmm. plays Omen a lot. Um, Toria plays Sage every once in a while. It'll be uh, also yes, Gecko as well as Sam just mentioned in the in the producer booth. Gecko's another great strong agent. Gecko um, is so strong. He yes. can single handedly turn the tide of a round without a doubt. Without a doubt, being able to pick up the utility, even his own mm -hmm. ultimate ability, is just crazy. Yeah, being able to use that ability twice to detain multiple people at a time is just absolutely insane. It takes so much space <laughs> on the site. Ridiculous. And, and he has a blind that you have to shoot, or it's you can't dodge it. It's no, you literally can't dodge it. The only thing I have seen though is like if it's shooting at you from super far away, you can crouch it. You, ha you can. Crouch you or sometimes you can either like strafe too and yeah. it'll miss because it's yeah. so far away. Um, but yeah, we do see super strong gecko play, especially from Toria. Toria plays gecko a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we talked to Galaxy in some of our post match interviews, uh, and he really prioritizes getting the gecko orbs. Yeah, especially with the planting all the time. Definitely. So yeah. if you prioritize gecko ultimate orbs, you can just have plus that plant, all on repeat. Oh, it's like almost every three rounds. Um, so it does sound like we are in game for agent selection now. So we'll cut to that here so you guys can see what we're looking at. All right. So we got your Lakers on the right side here, like we said, attacking first. Coach Gal there in the bottom right, as always, and your Rollers on the left side. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. like we said, Sadie does look like she's playing the Sentinel Cipher role here on, on, on Bind. Slim will be on Duelist. Uh, no omen for you, though. That's okay. It, it's pretty interesting. You said that Toria, honestly, you said Toria plays a lot of Gecko. She does. But here we see her on the Sage, which yeah. is kind of a pretty far cry from that Gecko. That's very true. Sid, sit on the Gecko this time. Uh, what we do see with the game changers a lot, Ben, as you probably know, because you're always watching Sport I, My every Streams, day, right? Every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, we do see the, the game changers swapping roles a lot, okay, like okay. map to map. So, yeah. like, we'll see Sadie on a Sentinel here, and then next round or next game she'll be on an Initiator okay. or on a Controller. So the role swaps are, are, are pretty frequent Yeah, that kind of speaks to the versatility of them as players, too. Absolutely. The other thing we'll look forward to here on Bind is that uh, your game changers love to play in pairs, mm. uh, always getting trades, which That's is huge. That's probably huge. something our premier team could use, playing in pairs. Oh, certainly, a certainly. Bit we, uh, <laughs> sometimes we are not the best at that. So no. what I really want to see them here, just like you said, um, or Galaxy prioritizes getting those orbs for the Gecko, yes. I kind of want to see them taking maybe two showers and maybe too long. And they can really cross-map that, yeah. yes. Really Especially with the teleporter, too. That's true. They could start at long. Yes. If you have a couple agents, you know, holding control of showers and you put Gecko B long first, teleports over That's to right. A. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, dude. I mean, you just got to be efficient with it, right? Because if you teleport and nobody has control of showers. It's just, it's lost. And exactly. You could, you run the risk of losing the orb, too, which completely negates half what you're the, actually doing, yeah, half right? the power <laughs> of your play. What I, you know, I, as a, I've been maining chamber a lot, Ben, yeah. recently in my, yeah. in my rank gameplay. But nobody plays Chamber in these collegiate, collegiate games. It's kind of sad. I, I hate to break it to you. 
He's but just not good. It's okay. Yeah. I know. That's okay. We're gonna see the exact power of Cipher here. Oh, dude! From our Most Lakers. broken Sentinel in the game right now. That's true. Ever since they changed him, so his trips no longer break from just touching somebody him, running through them. It's absolutely fire. It, he will continue. Like those trips will continuously scan you mm -hmm. and concuss you as long as he's like they don't break after two anymore. I know. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Well, they used to. They used to break after one. It was a one. Yeah, and then they used to just break after two. And it, not anymore. It, it's he's just stupid strong. But he's also such a boring character to play. Like, well, you can do a lot of stuff with him, especially with like my favorite play style here. That's true. So we see a heavy emphasis towards the A side of the map here from our Lakers. Yeah, your Lakers on the attack side. It looks like all five are towards A. You're throwing a couple towards showers here, but Viper doesn't necessarily know that. Mm -hmm. She will be holding just a, kind of an aggressive angle out of, out of lamps there. The brim for the rollers is going back to heaven to try to catch anybody. We will see Sid Honestly, planting instantly pretty insane how quickly they took this but they did not clear showers no so they had did to be not careful of the viper there they also didn't clear out lamps quite yet they know somebody's in there but they haven't gotten any kills so no picks have gone down but the bomb is down yeah that's crazy 5v5 for the post plant scenario sadie <laughs> is sitting in showers trying to get this you see here. slim going down okay but huge sadie pick from sadie kind of onto the reina yeah huge 4v4 now these, these, these rounds where it's like a 4v4, 5v5 retake are always just so hectic. Yeah, it's really dangerous here for the Lakers because they're so like, so far out of the site. But Torio with three with some nice classic shots. One of them is on the bomb. Oh, oh. so close for Torio there. Came off the bomb and got a nice ghost headshot there. But yes, yeah. it was super close. Got well her down played. to half HP. Well played on the retake there from the rollers. Absolutely. Super close though. Yeah, definitely. Super Lakers close. showed a lot of their prowess there. Oh, absolutely. Get out of sight as quick as they possibly can and mm -hmm. just throw in that wall game, the gecko plan. It was executed well. It really was. It really was. The just only thing lucky. I wish is that they had taken more control of lamps there. Yeah. Before the plant goes down. Because yep. they have to still worry about that after the bomb goes down and it really weakens their hold on the site. Especially. You know, that getting that sage wall down there while the you know the wingman's mm -hmm. planting, you could literally throw all five through yep. lamps. Like, you could just run it That's through true. lamps. That's true. Nobody's going to, especially on piss around, nobody's blowing that, that sage wall up, right? So yeah. It really it shows why Gecko is such a strong pick. Absolutely. Because you just don't even have to worry about planting anymore. We do see a little bit of confrontation here, Lamps again. Yeah. A, couple a little bit of a on. miscommunication there from the <laughs> rollers, double smoking it. Yeah. That's huge utility out for uh, the rollers there. Super interesting. That Viper one way was there, popped instantly, and then the Brim just all, there's so many Brim smokes on this site right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, Brimstone's out of smokes, this I is, think. This is just like cringe. You can't see anything on this site. <laughs> And they're already down too, so nobody's gonna use those brim smokes to their advantage, though. Especially the Lakers. I mean, if you you instantaneously smoke those those two gaps in the middle of the truck and like yeah. that triple box, you gotta try to aggress off that a little bit. Looks like Sadie is just holding showers for maybe somebody to push up for the orb. It seems like that. I kind of wish that they would get the gecko in there to grab the orb. But. Yeah, I think they're just trying to they're trying to play their save round here, wait for somebody to push up. But I think the rollers are a little too smart. Yeah, they're jump peeking or they're jump spotting this. This is honestly really well played by them, not getting overzealous, not over aggressive. The Echo Flash comes out, but they won't necessarily. They they are able to force Viper off, and they are just going to storm her, but they're all vulnerable. Yeah, taking a ton of damage from that Viper Molotov there. She's in lamps, but the Lakers are the Lakers going are going to get the spike down. Yes, a which is of, pretty much all you can ask for on an ego like absolutely. this. Absolutely, just a couple extra credits. Maybe if you can get one kill, there goes Sadie Last gets one. Yep. Sadie gets one. Sadie Maybe Torio will be able to absolutely pop off and get four here. Imagine how insane that would be, <laughs> but yeah, gun that, diff, gun yeah, diff. just a gun diff there. <laughs> Honestly, really well played from the Lakers to get something out of the round. They got one oh, and they got the spike planted. Yes. You can't really ask for much more in a situation like that. No. No, I mean, you just have to get incredibly lucky if you want to. No one around, will right? remember. I All right. We do see... It's like the Lakers might go to hit B here on their first full rifle round. It does appear to be that way. We do have a full buy coming out for the Lakers. Uh, the Rollers didn't really lose anybody. No, they didn't. Just one. Yeah, so they probably just tossed him a deagle. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Sheriff. <laughs> so, let's see here. Yeah, we will three, three here through B long. Maybe two up into Hookah. There will be one Roller... <laughs> Kind of towards B-Long here. I don't know if he's peeking it. No, he's kind of sitting in the cubby on site, yeah, actually. Yeah, good Cypher can to take that vision, just yep. so that nobody gets a silly little cheeky off angle on Absolutely. him. Absolutely. I kind of wish that they would send the, the Gecko long. I can't quite tell on the minimap if he's long, but I think he's in uh, Hookah. Yeah, not prioritizing. No, I think he is long. Grenade! Not necessarily prioritizing these orbs for him, though. 
Yeah. I think Slim just threw that nade there, trying to clear out anybody who might have been under Hookah, but nobody was there. Tori gets a nice headshot on her, but they'll just instantly okay, teleport. They could teleport, but there are still two members for the rollers here. Right? They didn't wait long enough for after that first hit for the rollers oh, to even huge rotate. Huge pick, though. Huge pick from Sadie here. Oh, oh double that's from Sadie. Double on the entry. Use my Honestly, that was really well played. Oh, I thought it was a little One enemy second, remaining. But honestly, it, it ended up coming up perfectly. The Lakers have all five alive and just one of the rollers. Sadie with the four K with that crazy. Guy, that default <laughs> phantom there with the riot gun buddy. The riot Subtle gun buddy. Subtle flex. Crazy. Subtle flex. I wish I had one of those. Dude, so do I. I'm not. I'm not nice to, enough to riot devs well, in my ranked games. To get one. A little birdie told me once that our producer Andrew has one. Does he really? I've heard that Andrew has a riot gun buddy, but I'm not sure. It's just a legend that I heard back when I was in the club. <laughs> He's famous. He's got the riot yeah. gun buddy. He's got it. It's like a. It's a. It's a total status symbol. Oh, without I, a doubt. it really is. Who's got the riot gun buddy? How'd you get the riot gun buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I've tried being nice to rioters. It never works out for you? I've only seen like three or four. I don't think I've ever had a rider in my in my competitive game before. I'm not gonna lie. I think Max is unrated. It was on um Fracture. Fracture way back. So we actually then. see some good cross mapping here. This is exactly what I had wished to have seen from the Lakers up to this point. A little bit of a default. Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna start to get that gecko or orb. Maybe they'll take TP just like you said. Yes. Yes. Is Galaxy listening in on Dude, our Dude, I think <laughs> he must be. I mean, we just straight up called that. You have Slim already having control of showers. Sydney okay. comes up and I'll gets tell you what, the Gecko has Thrash. There you go. Look at that. Our strategy call worked. And that's a free site. We call this caster IGLing. So Slim knows one. <laughs> Slim knows that one is heaven, but the brimstone fell off. A couple CT for the rollers. Five v four situation here. Post plant for your Lakers. Mm -hmm. Even a little bit. Oh wow! There goes Slim. Here. Gets Honestly, one, but gets one for one. Traded. One for one is not bad. We still do have the Sage alt. Yes. On to our Toria. We'll see if she uh, if she throws out the rest. One four enemy remains. Four v one there now. Not worth. Yeah. It's not worth at this point. One unless Cypher has hold. Misses the shots. UA there. Just went over the head. Just a little bit. I don't know that the Cypher knows that Tori is just sitting in the cubby here. He's looking towards showers. Throwing his own nice. And peeking off the utility. That's right. That's right. That's really well played from our Lakers. Yes. Exceptionally well played from them playing off that utility. It just really shows how that they are smart players. Great communication too. So it looks like the rollers will take. Is that to say Galaxy? Nope, not that Jared. Is, that is the rollers. That coach is for the rollers. That timeout. I have terrible eyesight. That's that's my bad. Uh, but yeah, so first time out for the rollers. What do you think they're talking about here, Ben? I think they're talking about why they get shut down in rifles. Yes. They won the first two rounds, but the pistol round was really dicey. Oh yeah, and it was then so close. On that on that second force by round. You know, it they the Lakers only got one, but they got the plant down, exactly. which is honestly just a failure of the defense of the Rollers. Yeah, I mean, you have SMGs against against classics, literally right? classics. Or Nobody invested anything. Even like a half rifle, like a bulldog or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you should yeah, yeah. not be allowing them into a site, especially a site like A. You got such like it's it's a it's, it's a little so fish in a barrel mm -hmm. on A short. And especially they had that Viper one yes. way, and they just didn't use it. No, they just let the, the Lakers come in after sitting there for like 30 seconds. Nothing happened. Um, so hopefully uh, the Lakers continue their domination here you know in the what? rifle rounds. I wonder if it's almost some intimidation because of what happened a couple weeks ago. It could be. It they could, could be. just be afraid. The rollers did get rolled. So they could be afraid of this That's happening true. once again. Yeah. But, I mean, Sadie got a 4K on the first rifle round. That's now we're crazy. Here, and we had a, a three or four left surviving that last round. So it's a great it's a great start for your Lakers here. Agreed. And it is only 2-2, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But the Lakers' econ is more than likely looking pretty good after that. Absolutely. There Absolutely. you go. Yeah, the rollers are uh, on a heavy eco round here. Yep. We're at, meanwhile, our Lakers all have enough money to buy, and they will have enough next round as well. Boom. Boom is right. <laughs> We're going to roll these, these rollers. rollers. Yes. That's right. There's nothing better than winning your rifle rounds and having enough to buy multiple rounds in a row. Mm -hmm. I mean, that just means you're executing as perfectly well as you possibly can. So Cypher Cam does see Slim there. Yep, so they do know that Cypher is here, which may dissuade them, but also they're on an eco and they can see their friends. So exactly. They may just decide to storm on through this. So Slim will uh, nade out here to try to clear out any cyber trips that might be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice headshot there from Slim. That's huge. Sage is on kind of an off angle though. An elbow, I think. On her yes. 5v4 now. Post plant situation for your Lakers. They just are able to own the site. Here, I man. know. It's it's kind of it's kind of crazy how much they're just letting them get away with. I think that in a situation like this, maybe just by shorty sitting. 
Yeah, like, you, you have to, at some point, you have to let them not get in here. Like, like one enemy just, remaining. I think that was absolute domination. Huge three piece from UA to hold that site on the anti -ego. Absolutely, as they all push through her smoke for whatever reason. They had a lot of time left on that bomb. I know, they, it just, like I said, it just seems like they're already starting to see what happened to them last time. The flashbacks. Yes, exactly. They're having flashbacks it's so fresh to mom. in their mind. Yes. It, was, it wasn't that long ago. No, it wasn't. Only two weeks. Only two weeks. So they only had one extra game between yeah. these two series. And this is playoffs, by the way, Ben. This is first round of playoffs. So is this double or single elim? Uh, that I'm not sure. That I'm not sure. Okay. Because if it's single elimination, then I can see the rollers they getting, they're very getting scared. really scared about this. Yes. So it looks like we will work up showers again. And we are split. So I believe, once again, I can't really see the minimap. A little too small. But I believe the gecko. Oh, man. Slim I do goes down early a short. It's unfortunate. It's tough. Gecko is getting the, the orb in shower. Your yes. duty is not over. Oh, huge rest for you there. She walled off for the res and then just has to destroy her own Good wall. Baiting the smoke out from yeah. the early brimstone. Huge rest coming out. Exactly Sadie and Yue you combining for three. Yeah, Sadie is getting two over there on the B site. Well, and they just, they just have the site. It's Sadie gets two simple. on the other site, and then they just also have this site? Like, it's, what's happening? It's that simple. Sadie's over there lurking on B, and the rollers, they, they're they falling right into the trap. This is the Laker effect. This is the Laker this effect. This is the Laker yes. effect. See, if you, uh, for, for, for prospective high school Valorant players, this is what you get if you come to GVS. That's right, that's right. And let me tell you what, Gage seeing triggered. this club grow from back in the Counter-Strike days, it's absolutely insane to see how far, and okay. how far we will continue to go. Exactly, exactly. Case Especially if you vote for me for president in the next couple of weeks <laughs> here, we have an announcement going out at the GVSU Discord. So vote for Evan for president, and the club will continue to grow to new heights. Wow. Shameless plug. If I had the ability to vote for you, I'm sure I would. Absolutely, absolutely. Anyways, back into the round. Some nice shots from Sadie there. You saw a nice little quick like peek around the corner. Uh, one tap headshot with that with that phantom. Uh, great, great play. Like we said, um, the, 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 the Lakers are just rolling these kids right now. I mean, they have free sight takes every single round, almost no contest. Uh, either that or they just have to contest with one person and they just, the rollers can't do anything. Yeah, it looks like it, it could definitely continue to be a very tough game for the rollers unless they figure out exactly how to shut the Lakers down. Absolutely. The other thing you see here, Ben, is uh, Sadie is and, and Sid are we're kind of just like full sprinting up B long for a minute. Like, yeah. the confidence is just there. You do see the roller Sage there holding out her face while. Yep. Not sure. Oh, that was just bad timing, though. Oh, Crash Griffin's well. out. They're not going to know that the Sage is on top of the wall. Yeah, the Sage is in a very powerful position, but it actually was now spotted out by know, Slim. Yes. I wonder if they aggress off of this or if they just call it off. Smoke. There are four here, but they don't necessarily know that. Yeah. If you hit TP, though, it's like basically a free ace site. Yeah. There's only one uh, one of the rollers on the ace site. So I think that's there we go. Sid early. getting a huge kill under their Sage. That is huge. Getting her out of that position, just yes. ejecting her, is huge. I mean, that's that one less angle. It's such a powerful angle, too. And we do decide to hit the teleporter. Yes. Um, the rollers are kind of slow on the... They only heard two. Oh, Cypher was set up on A this round. Incredibly Cage interesting there. No more the rollers left. I almost think the rollers were a little bit too slow to rotate there. They don't. I don't think they know what to do. I think they're yeah. like totally on the back foot right now, right? I, I mean, the Lakers have gotten instant sight takes almost every single round. The rollers haven't won a rifle round yet. So, and they are kind of, we hear some sheriff shots there. I think they're on a bit of an eco round this, this round. Oh, oh well, good some pick of on them Sadie. Good pick on a Sadie. The bomb is not landing for the Yeah, they just, they double swung Sadie there. So, Tori, uh, Sid gets one full flash. That's three. It somehow it just works out. <laughs> the Cypher decided to hit the plant. UA will just brim out and get him. And UA with the second one on the little wall bang headshot there through the box. So, once again, your Absolutely Lakers. Absolutely huge round. Crushing. Absolutely, Absolutely crushing. huge round Anyone from the Lakers. Anything? believe that's uh, five rounds in a row. I do wish we could see the econ situation for the rollers here. Yes. Um, it was really, really nice to see just exactly what our Lakers are going to be going up against this round. Yes, Mr. Andrew, let's see the scoreboard. Let's see the scoreboard in there. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be a full rifle round for both teams, although notably it looks like some Much of them might be short on utility or maybe just the Cypher on I half mean, shields. Yeah, you do see Cypher on half shields there, so maybe he prioritized the utility there instead of the shields, Definitely, right? which is exactly what I think a Cypher yeah. should do. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're if you watching any uh, any pro players, like stream or whatever, I mean, Eight, half the time they're buying half shields anyways, because yeah. if you get one thing by a Phantom or a Vandal, like at close range, you're dead anyways, right? So Slim, unfortunately, misses yeah. the rocket there. It just clips the wall. Spike down so, like, unfortunately just traded out by the race. Pixel. Pixel imperfect there for Slim, it's really unfortunate, but we 
do see still we have three Lakers left alive. They are still going to try to hit the A site here. Sadie's going to try to clear out lamps. We'll hear the, the he reload. Does she know about Viper? Though? No, she oh, doesn't. Instantly chaired out by Viper. Man, That's if she so if she knew about the Viper, maybe we could her discipline on the Sage there and just kill the Viper first and get the Sage after. But she did not know that the Viper was there. That's right. And notably, it is a 2v3, so it is still winnable for the Lakers, though the Rollers do have a Sage ult. Yes. Where is the bomb for the Lakers right now? Down the Last of the player site. standing. UA can't get the shot to fall. Toy is just getting sprayed with the smoke. This I might be a save angle, but we do have credits though. Yeah, we, we do have creds, we have everything, and I think it's a good idea to just grab this orb here. Yeah. Take as much as you can from the enemy team. 30 so seconds left. It. Plus, if you die here, right, I mean, you get an extra ult target. Uh, so close on the clear there. Pretty so, good hold from yeah, the oh, rollers. Yes, yes. Although, I feel like maybe if Toria swings that just a titch faster, might have the uh, the timing on the on that Reyna there. That's true. It was so close. Yeah, it's true. So it's hard. Close. It's so hard to tell in situations like that, though. Literally. She had the crosshair placement, though. I mean, it was mm -hmm. right where it needed to be on the head. Yeah. Just a timing thing. So the Lakers do lose their first rifle round of the game. It scores 5-3 going into round number nine here. We do just get confirmation that it is single elimination. That's right. So, so this game is for all of the marbles. For lose all of these and teams. go home. That's right. That's right. Back lose to your ranked season's games. over. That's yeah. right. Back to your ranked Maybe games. Maybe Premier. Maybe Premier. That's true. Maybe Premier. Which kind of just is ranked. Pretty much. So we see a, a decent split here. We do see Sadie on the uh, A side of the map kind of just sulking into showers a yeah. little bit, as the Cypher does. Typical, typical kind of B split here, though. Yeah. Sid once again going for this alt orb here. She will grab it. So the roller should know that there's at least one agent here. Lakers and Nuka are smoke there. I wonder if Gecko hits the teleporter here and then goes to grab the orb. Because yeah, Sadie, Sadie has, has full control of showers. Yep, once again. What, just like we talked about. I know. Full control of showers. She's just walking up. She will. No, she doesn't get a trip. But then it goes down. So, so, so unfortunate. unfortunate. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a soda. Let's go. We are going to the pub after this, right? The so main there street. Uh huh. Anyways, uh, we do see still four of your Lakers alive here to five rollers. Yeah, Gecko flash comes out uh, on the site. Oh, Slim with nice headshots. Head shots. He brings the site. Here's the Reina too, because uh, apparently the Reina's death doesn't have is a headset Slim on. Is the best player on this planet? I think so. I think she might be. This cr this 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 Ray's gameplay is riveting right now. I know. Uh, honestly, where's why is he your Ray's? Like hey man. <laughs> and our premier game the other day, I was match MVP by Ray's. Okay. Anyways, UA goes down and Cubby there. The rollers are coming three out. Uh, oh, yeah. All three out of this. Game. Slim's gonna get three. Ooh. Almost that crazy flick there. Yeah, the it was so back. close. We do still have the resurrection though for the rollers. True. One enemy oh, was they're still on the bomb. Headshots come down. Toria can't get the next so one. Close for the, the cypher for the rollers gets the multi kill and wins the round for him. Gonna take a little selfie. <laughs> can't blame him. They no, I, study. I would do Cannot it too. Blame them. I would do it too. Die. <laughs> Huge round from power there. Absolutely. That's very true. Yeah. Huge so, round from all of them. Oh, yeah. Without it, I mean, that was so close, too. It was. And not even just a huge round yes. for them, but a huge round for the Lakers as well. Like Huge round for Slim. Yeah. That was Slim great. Was absolutely crazy. Great entering right there. The Slim stonks are going up. <laughs> all the way up. All the way up. Somebody check the PC. True. Somebody true. check the PC. Well, they're in our Laker Esports Center, so you know they're clean. I, yeah. Yeah. Best PCs on the planet. That's right. So Lakers do look today again. Nobody's going to be looking for you this time. Not even Sadie. They're just going to instantly cage up. Sadie's just going to run through the site for utility. Spike down A. Get instantly taken out. Very unfortunate there. I wonder if she could have fallen through the teleport to avoid that. So close, though. Although she was just like you to lock. She's just trying to cypher cage her way into lamp. She's hit by the viper molly. Then she gets hit by the trip. She couldn't hear it because she was running so fast. Crazy. So it will be 2v5 now. I, if the if the Lakers lose this round, Ben, I feel like Mr. Galaxy needs a timeout real quick. Yeah, I do think it could be time to take a timeout. And yeah. It, just to even stop the momentum, even if the team isn't tilted or if they don't need to discuss anything. Uh, just the, to take a quick breather. Well, stopping the momentum for the enemy team is not something to be undervalued. Last oh, player not. standing. UA swings out, unfortunately can't hit the head. It's maybe one twenty. Oh, oh, that Cypher. Cypher is dry peeking these corners and getting one here. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think we'll see the timeout here from Mr. Galaxy? I hope so. I think it's possible. I mean, they have lost. Yeah, there, there we go. Perfect. We're just me, us, and Galaxy today linked up. Yeah, linked up. So, 
unfortunately, kind of what we've been seeing is Sadie has fallen into these cipher trips yeah. like a couple rounds in a row. Just like they're kind of in a little interesting spot, either that or she's just not hearing the sound cue like quick enough. I think they just need to take it just a little bit slower, slower. When, especially when like kind of sneaking onto the sites like that because yeah. we need to be sure that we're not running into the cipher utility. Like exactly. That. It does make a pretty distinct noise. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. And not only that, but the second you get hit by that, I mean, that cipher is going to be playing yep. off its own utility, it's right? Done. Like it's if done. you get tripped by that trip, you are dead. Yep. You are dead. I mean, he basically has wall hacks for like the rest of the long as, as long as you're in yeah, that trip. Yeah, as long as you're in that trip and you, you get you. stunned. Yes, exactly. There's legitimately nothing you can do. Um, so just playing a little bit slower, listening for the audio cues, um, and maybe defaulting a little bit. I think that we need to see more of that util or more of the orb play yeah. for the Lakers. Maybe baiting out a little bit more util too. We've Definitely. seen. I mean, the Viper threw that last round that we saw Sadie get hit by that that cipher trip a short. I mean, that the Viper was just throwing yeah. her mollies. And Brimstone also has been using his smokes very quickly. Super fast. So let's bait out the utility. Let's play a little slower, mm -hmm, and let's mm -hmm. just get the picks right. Yeah. Well, you know me. I like to play slow all the time. I'm very methodical, and I think that the That's Lakers. Very true. I think that the Lakers could be a little bit more methodical right now. We call you Triple B, Big Brain <laughs> Ben. Big Brain Ben. He loves his methodical uh -huh. strategy strategy play. All right, looks like we do kind of see a little bit of a split here, like we said. I think they're, we got Sadie working up B-bomb. We have a couple of them going hookah. Maybe yeah, one or two we going. We also do have the gecko in market here. Yes. Like, it's a pretty quick rotate to long to get that orb. True. We do see, I think they did bait out a Viper Molly there. We do see Slim user grenade, though just to make a little bit of presence. It does refill if you get two kills. That's right. But it is a big piece of valuable utility as well. It is. It can take a lot of space. It can clear out Cypher utility. It True. Can, it's a very valuable piece of utility. We do see right Sid there. taking a little bit of contact on the B site. The Cypher was spotted. Yes. So they know that Cypher is here. Yep. I wonder if that will influence their decision to maybe rotate a little bit towards the A site. And we do see some of the rollers. <laughs> the that was oh, the only one who's pick. on A. The rest of them are, except for one, are on B already. There's only one roller on A. Unfortunately, the Lakers don't know what we do, uh, yeah. but they are rotating over there now. So there's just the one lamps. I know exactly where. And here you comes are. the cipher. Alt. Cipher knows exactly where they are. Oh, without a doubt. That CD off the top is huge. So they know now that they basically have the site. Not 30 seconds left. Sure, exactly. Why Slim chose to alt there right after that cipher alt came down. We knew that they weren't incredibly close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it won't matter because Sadie's hitting heads right now, but then gets her head hit herself. Yes. Incoming res for the roller Sage here. Last Slim peeks out, standing. only 14 HP, can't get it done. Sid last live in Lamps, but she does have full health and a Gecko Molly here. Do we know if this is one? It's one, yeah. Spike is not. It's gonna have to be Oh man, it just tries to get a little bit of an angle, but won't be able to. So Lakers do lose one right off of the timeout here. So you know what? that's okay. Honestly, Last I think round that's in the half. Oh, I sure. think that, honestly, our Lakers, all. the Cypher has been absolutely popping off on this attack yes. half from Sadie. And yes. I think that on defense, she's just going to do even better. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And we see Slim hit, heating up too. I mean, she had a couple of those multi-kills that were mm -hmm. super good on the entry to the site. So looking forward to some some raised uh, utility to stop them and slow them down on defense here. That pool that's bomb, right. that grenade. Yep. Whatever you can do. We do see Slim on half shields here uh, because it is last of half, so it's not worth saving anything. Yep. Uh, we do see Slim on the half shields, which is kind of unfortunate to see, but it's not the end of the world. Nope. Like we talked about, I mean, if you get dinked by a vandal, it doesn't matter if you want full shields or not. So. <laughs> you no shields at that point. So UA will go down to Arena on an operator. That is incredibly cringe. Um, it, you don't see that very often. I think it's a gross misuse of range kit, but oh, yes. uh, to each their own, I suppose. Yes. This is why I'm the one talking and not the one playing. <laughs> You're not on the ring lane rollers. That's right. Although, I don't know if you want to be, because I do get rolled. That's true. So... It is what it is. Slim, <laughs> Slim won't have any contact up A short yet. I think Sadie hopefully the, knows the, that that Sage is there the because Sage they played there before. So close. The Sage has played there before. Yeah, we'll start shooting well, at the thing that they're on. So Sage falls off. Now they definitely know yeah, where they she's have at. Gecko will not be able to hit with the flash. Uh, Sadie did actually clear up on that wall, but Sadie's already called down that point. Yep. But they will get the pick on her anyways. They don't know that the cypher is here, at least not yet. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! Play slow, yeah. wait for those, wait for those trips. Send this back site. There's the trip, one hits. Cypher not gonna get the kill this time though. 30 seconds left. 
Yes, it's a nice full round headshot. Yeah, he's interested to just fall back here. I think that's absolutely massive. Yes. Wingman. I think Wingman is just so strong. He really is. I mean, you, you can literally plant from off-site. Like, you don't even have to keep him, basically. So you see here, they're coordinating with the Reign of Alliance. Yes. I think that's a very smart play, considering that they don't really have any other blinds right now. <laughs> you have to wait for the Reign of Lears. That's right. I almost think that this all... It's, I mean, it's good. half. It's good. It's yeah. half. Yeah. Like... You want more? You a bit of Here's advantage. more. Oh, here we go. Nice all. Oh, for Reign of Alliance. Oh, enemy oh not gonna hit the Viper. Oh, Nice, and Tori just sprays the Viper right through the smoke. Boom. So Boom. that's huge momentum going into the second half for the Lakers there. After a little Switching bit side. of a slip, they lost, lost four in a row. We lost control a little bit, but... It's good. But we're back. Exactly. We are so back. We are so back. <laughs> we turned it back around, got the tie-up on the half. Now it's defense, baby. Now and it's defense, Honestly, baby. I'm looking forward to this double Sentinel setup on this def yes. defense half. Yes. I mean, you can just leave Cypher B. Sage can either wall showers, wall A main, so slow them slow orbs. Oh, they can go absolutely anywhere yep. they want. Um, and so now the Lakers are just ready to go. Yeah, I kind of want to see them play off their utility a lot this time. Yes. Half. Yes, I they have very exactly valuable utility. Very, very valuable utility. Team Dad's gone. That, yeah, he is gone, actually. That was that was Mr. Galaxy. Oh, you're right. That, but that like was Gal. 40 years in the future. Yes. Oh, I thought it was just. <laughs> here we are, back to live here. Super excited to see what our Lakers can cook up on the defense. Now, defense is kind of harder to call. Come attack. Take him out. You can't really have the same kind of strats outside of your initial setups. Yes. We do see Sadie kind of playing elbow here. Nobody else on the B side, but that's typical for a cipher player here. Yeah, Looking at the trips, looks like we got some some high IQ trips here. Yeah, they're cooking. Ones that can't be necessarily like heard though with the audio cue until That's right. you're jumping out, right? Like and they're far enough back, maybe. Yeah. Let's see if the cipher is able to. Oh. Contact will be seen, but he's just a lurk. Sadie doesn't cage know about that. Cage Will it trigger the cage? But we do see some contact going down though. I do see UA the, goes down. the ringling rollers start to plant the bomb. Now that yes. sage wall is so powerful. Yes. On this round. Spike I mean, planted. You have to basically use all your ammo with that pistol to hit him. So oh, the sage just runs Slim. through. She's just running with her knife out. Slim gets there two. Another one. I don't know, man. Refreshes that detonation. One You're running around there. the site with your knife out at in close in, in situation. Viper, hopefully they hear Viper. She's in lamps. She's in lamps, but I don't think they know about her. Hopefully somebody holds her. Uh, uh, nice go. and huge pistol round from the lake. Big refrag from Sadie there too. Oh, they, they absolutely win. win. We got better here too. <laughs> here at Farmers, we've heard. <laughs> <laughs> we know a thing or two. Because we've seen a thing or two. That's right. And we've seen your Lakers roll the rollers. So that's right, and that's exactly what we're going to see here. Six is all they get. Six is all they get. No rounds on attack. And we're looking to go up here 8-6 to six with your Lakers having a huge gun advantage. SMGs, Bulldogs, Guardians. I know. I kind of like the setup. I kind of like the setup from the second. No, I did too. I mean, it allows them out of hookah, so as you have to have somebody watching it, but like, it kind of gives them a false sense of security. Right? Yeah, it's like, oh, shoot. You're not, on. you're not looking for trips there. No, not in the middle of sight. Absolutely not. You got one trip that denies them access into elbow slash plant, one that denies them access to back site. I mean. And one thing that I think really indicates a good Cypher player is having so many setups that the enemies never know where you're going to be. Yes. It's not enough to just have one or two. You have to have way more. Yeah, change it up. Once they know where your trips are, they're, they're worthless, right? That's right. So Cypher for the, the rollers is once again lurking on the B site here. I mean, it's basically all you can do as a Cypher, but on a pistol round, you might as well just run as five. Like, you have a better yeah. chance of getting some picks if you run as five, right? I agree. Just have to overwhelm the defense in that point. Yep. Especially since we, it's reasonable to assume that Cypher's going to be by themselves. Oh, that long oh. range engagement honestly yeah. kind of favors the class. <laughs> I would agree, yes. Get out of here. That Bulldog horse buy, you know all about that. Dude, uh, that's my favorite thing to buy in second round. Oh, don't clear the corner, no! Slim okay. gets the reflag, though. He's going to get peaked. <laughs> oh, but instantly refragged. The, the spike is not down yet. No. Okay, it's about to go down. Sid gets one out of the stage, one though, and Lance. They remaining. won't know that the Cypher is last one. Good Lance got clear uh, corners. Uh, uh, Cypher is pretty low, though. Cypher's got 40 HP true. and awesome. Instantly picked up by Sid. Yes. No worries at all. Now, if we learned anything as a valuable lesson from this round, clear your corners. That's right. <laughs> clear that's your right. corners. And clear with intent. It's not enough to just look at the corner and look exactly. away. Exactly. Be ready to shoot that that's spot, right. right? All right, so another round for the Lakers. They do go up 8-6. to six. A little bit of a disadvantage, though, as the Rollers will be on a full rifle buy. But your, uh, your Lakers have a chance. Sadie with a Bucky. I respect it. I respect it. I respect the Bucky play. Hide in hookah. Hide in your, uh, hide in your cages. Yeah, true. Play like a rat and get some kills. That's right. 
Looks like some of the rollers are kind of towards B here. It's a 4-1 split. The Cypher is towards A, I believe. Towards Market. Towards Market. They are playing a little bit of a... Total rat vibes. Yes. Here, which is, I respect it. You know, I'm a rat player myself. Oh, the oh, timing, the, the timing, timing, the timing. Sadie oh, no, around. this could be so tragic for Sadie. Oh, but Cypher Sadie. doesn't want to push that smoke. He knows. You didn't wait long enough. Go back. Oh, no. Go back. Oh, is Sadie going to hear? No, oh, Sadie didn't hear the footstep. This is crazy. They're in the... Th this is crazy. Slim. Ah. We just no. saw two Cyphers holding hands for oh 45 seconds. Oh my goodness, goodness, that was gracious. absolutely insane. That is what we call a Valorant moment right there. Oh man. Rather unfortunate only, though for Sadie. I hope they watch this VOD back. Yes. I think she just heard so many footsteps be long. They stopped her. In a game like Valorant though, anybody could be anywhere at any point. <laughs> I almost don't agree with the use of the alt there for Marco, but I respect it. I respect what they're trying to do. They're trying to leverage their two rifles that they have. Yeah. And I mean, as like Sid, I mean, you get the defuses, whatever you get off point. Yeah. One of the things that me and Galaxy have talked about in these post-game interviews is that they, some of the game changers, like, have a hesitancy to use their ult. Mm -hmm. So he kind of encourages it, like, when you get your ult, yeah, use it. Yeah, you don't want to have too good to use syndrome, which no. I personally have with my favorite ult, Omen. <laughs> the worst ult in the game. It's the best I ult. Mean, if, we're, <laughs> if we're only three rounds in, you're going to get another probably one or two at least ults That's right, in especially this game. with how well oh, is nice um, Sid is playing. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So it is 8-7 now. The Lakers up by one round, going into round number 16. You will see a bit of an aggressive Cypher camera into B-Long here. Probably will spot one. Or two. Oh, yep, they'll know down. that there are some long. Nobody going hookah, though. One lurk towards A site. But they are pushing up through long, and Sadie is not going to play hookah this time. Sadie does yep. hear that. Yes, they do suss the out the trips. Nice Huge shot. Pick and falls back instantly. That's beautifully so played smart. from Sadie. So smart. Don't get overzealous. I would have re-peaked. That's just me, though. <laughs> that's that's why I'm hard stuck diamond, because I would have re-peaked that. Well, the arcade changes are absolutely wonderful. Exactly. Huge retake frag here. Instantly traded out, though, by Miso Stew. The I spike like Miso is... Stew. Miso, Miso Stew. Spike Miso planted. So Anyways, uh, your Lakers again on a retake. 3v3, though, so not at a huge disadvantage here. Do have to play for time, though. You know, Tori goes down to a late flank from that. And Last player standing. Molly Watt by utility. I think if UA can get out of here and save this Vandal, I think that's exactly uh, yeah, what you should do. Yeah, you got it. But Cypher might try to cut her off CT, though, Ben. Yes, that is true, and I think that's exactly, exactly what's going to happen. Although, UA might get the jump on him. Yep. No, no, no. Absolutely fantastic. And now, now leave. Run. Yeah, run. <laughs> Honestly, we're very lucky to get out of this round with a rifle. Oh, huge. Yes, absolutely huge. One last thing you have to buy, and I don't even believe she took any damage. I can't see that shield she number down not. there. Yeah, so full shields and get to save the rifle. You don't have to buy anything. Except for a little bit of util. Except for a little bit of util. But that's cheap as it is, right? Yeah. Especially for Brimstone. I think this yes. cluster 150, but you get points for free. Yep. Molly's 250, I think. Unlike Chamber, his whole kit costs 1,000 credits. Well, you have to get a free deal, so. Free Guardian, basically. Yeah, true. <laughs> going into round number 17 now. It is all tied up here, 8-8. Eight to eight. I do believe that we're just going to see a hero rifle here from the Lakers on UA. I mean, that's what you got to do. This goes here. That's what you got to do. She yeah. saved it last round. Yeah, we have Sadie on the Deagle. It's just going to be... They're just going to try to play it's slow. It's going to be boom, boom, boom. One tap, one tap, one tap. That's right. That's what we're hoping for here. So Slim is going to play a little bit of a ratty angle here uh, in Garden on B-Site with the Bucky. She will hear some footsteps. So could get one. I don't know if they're going to clear this angle. Nobody has played here yet for the Lakers. Yeah, but, it, I mean, it's a pretty common spot here True. for the Lakers. It's definitely an advantageous defense angle, though, the way this this uh, that wall is like angled there. Ooh, the Mata has some contact. Unfortunately, Unfortunately we Pixels. Just get down. Yes, literally. She will regress the angle. Try to Molly. Oh, should have been taken out by the Sage so on the box. Get out of there with his life. It's just because the Sage was Didn't holding her down. slow orb there. Um, stimmed Smoked into lamp. That's right. And I mean, the spike. Well, the spike was going down. Sid just sprang planted. through. Yue unfortunately taken down in lamps there. Honestly, if we can just recover that rifle. Yeah, or just get one. Yeah, if we can recover the rifle, then I think we just we're going to have enough money to buy next round either way. Oh, man. So unlucky on that timing there. They're just going to try to kill this Reyna. They're over the Reyna killing their teammates. Yep. Honestly, 
Hey as man, it's still 3v4. Any that the Lakers can get here would be huge. Yeah. And, and note, we do have the all. One enemy remaining. Downfall, your Lakers, around. though. Just a gun advantage there. But I mean, they did get one. Just unfortunate. Yep, we do have the showstopper here for the next few rounds. Uh, hopefully, Slim will be able to utilize that in an effective manner. The rollers have four also, Ben. That is true. That is true. And they have resurrection, which importantly oh. is crazy strong. Yes, brings an entire agent back yes, to life. That's right. The only way the only way it would be more broken oh, is if they got a shield back. <laughs> that would be insane. That'd be actually insane. Luckily, that is not the case. But thank you, so Ryan. Your <laughs> your Lakers are. Unfortunately, down one round now, nine to eight. Prepared for hellfire. Bringing round number eighteen. We have the instant orbital strike. Probably to clear out lamps there. Yeah, I believe so. UA with the judge though, not playing any like super close angles though. Yeah, like, I will. She was forced out by strike the, the orbital true, strike. True, true, true. She will start to re-push into lamps here. Hopefully, to retake control of that. We'll now, see one. Yep, we do have a fight going on there in lamps, and it doesn't. They, they do get one. So I was yeah. gonna say, if they don't get one right off the bat, I think they should probably just back off and save and take this time to think about what they're gonna do next round. Huge. But they do get this one pick. Yeah, Toria peeking off of the the, the contact from from UA was huge there. I mean, just the team play we see from these these game players. They are so comfortable playing. This utility each other. usage is absolutely insane, and they just get the spike. They, they just the spike defuse for free. the spike with three left. What are you gonna do? I mean, they were smoked off. They didn't want to push out. UA unfortunately goes down at the end of the round, but the utility usage and the playing off each other's contact, Ben. They they look like a well-oiled machine around. That is they exactly are. what we need to see every round. Yes, the chemistry on this mm -hmm. team is great. Just got to play into it. Right, and honestly, I think that as long as UA has like a, a real gun here this round, yes. not a judge, yes. um, then I think that this round will be good. Yeah, and we have a full buy from the whole game, so this is going to be a really crucial round. I think that this could make or break the econ of either team. Yes. The Rollers do have a little bit more money on their top two players, but the rest of them are pretty broke. UA with the judge again. Kind of playing a bit of a longer angle still. Not a gun, not as effective as it used to be at the long range. Yeah, I, I do respect the skin choice though. Convex, yes. Yes. OG, OG, OG battle pass. Not even battle pass. That's a shop skin, isn't it? Shop skin. Four through. Oh, oh this would be a huge off the flip. Oh, only gets, gets one. one but Spike down B. We do get good damage on Arena, and Arena does use a devour, so that is very valuable utility to have out. Oh, buff the raise all. What the heck? True. Hey, she got one. She, got she did one. get one, but that should have been three at least. Holy. I think if she peeks that a little quicker, she might have gotten all of those. Yeah. All four. Yeah, I think that she just got a little anxious is yeah. what it seemed like. Yeah. I think she thought maybe they were going to peek her super fast and kill her. She wanted to wait a little bit, see if they were going to push up. But we do have the orbital strike here for the brimstone. Just does kinda, get one. Yes. Does get one, and it's Arena and Tony, so there goes their duelist. list. Just trying to, to stop the, the rollers Launching push smoke. here until their teammates can rotate and over. You know what? Reyna did have Empress there, so it's a very good thing that she's taken down before yes. she can really get moving. Yes. I must wait a moment. It's good that Sadie's still here. Left. Cypher is pretty low on Very the true. rollers. Just a couple of shots through a spray there. Uh, she gets one. One enemy gets the remaining. refrag. Huge, huge Spike hold down from B. Sadie. Huge hold from Sadie. There is one. UA does do a little bit of damage, I think. Hit her probably 80, 40. Maybe 40, yeah. Not going to have any time, so. Brimstone is out. Wait for the left. You don't have to peek him. He has Fine. to plant the bomb. Nice. Honestly, really well played. Yes. I, I wish Sadie had stayed alive there for a little bit longer, but... Got hey, to. You got really the round. You got really the round, complain. right? There we go. That beautiful LEC cam there. You can see your game changers all ready to go. But it does appear we have a timeout as well. That's right. And I'm not really sure who called this timeout. Uh, it'd be nice to know. Let's um, see here. I just can't get over how nice that facility looks. I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It really is. If you haven't been to the LEC, come to the LEC. Yeah. Grand Valley, One Campus Drive, Allendale, Michigan, 49401. Kirkhoff Center. That's right. Kirkhoff Center. There's food. There's drinks. The other team called the timeout. We just heard from producers. Yep. Kirkhoff's the best. You need coffee. You need caffeine. Go upstairs to the pod store, right? Provisions on demand. So, you need food. Restaurants. Boom. Back to the game. <laughs> back to the game. So what do you think that the rollers are talking about in this timeout? I think they're just not able to take the site right now, right? That's I mean, right. you've seen a great just like change in how the Lakers are kind of playing this. They're playing off their YouTube better. They're playing off each other's contact better. Everything they're doing right now for the Lakers is just hitting on all yeah. cylinders, right? Yeah. There's nothing that the rollers can do. So, I mean, either you need to try to bait out some of the Lakers' YouTube a little bit better or just 
hit your shots. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're almost playing it a little too slow and not showing enough presence. That's true. Kind of the opposite to what the Lakers kind of were trying to do. Like, yes. The Lakers needed to take it a little slower. Yes. I think the Rollers need to take it a little faster. Yeah. They're not taking enough uh, space, enough presence, enough control of the map, and kind of just allowing the Lakers to, to rotate wherever they need to and be wherever they need to, right? Yeah, and here we are back to live here. I think that this round, like I said, last round kind of could make or break the economy for either team. So uh, we'll get smoke. a quick scoreboard here just so we can see the econ situation. Okay, so it's still a full buy. It looks like they did evenly distribute some of those creds there on the yes. rollers. Yes. So this round is still pretty important, but if the rollers lose this one, then they'll be broke. It'll be, it'll be a huge, huge, huge save round for the next round. For them. And that should that would probably put the Lakers at match point oh, as well. Oh, that's a huge molly. Great molly. does a ton of damage. One in lamps. UA will get them. It's the Reyna. Instantly gotten out by UA. They knew. They did UA know. UA just knew. Yes. Big brain moment. One of the rollers is on that really terrible angle on top of that box there. It's really disadvantageous, honestly. You know what? I, I think I see one of the rollers there tucked in cubby by yeah. the wooden boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow that's, that stage got there. That's really... Camera um, taken out. She's in a really bad spot. Yeah. At this point, I think Sadie just expects the Cypher to be lurking over here on the B site. I mean, he's done it like every round. It's honestly like spy versus spy. You Pretty know? much. We're yes. just trying to get the Cyphers. The Cyphers alone on the other side of the map. I mean, we'll be rotating. Yeah, this Viper uh, for the Rollers is still really low. Oh, somehow, somehow left. gets so lucky. I have no that's idea. That's not luck. That was skill. Yes. I mean, that's just like Long. somehow hit that nasty headshot on they that guy. Blind. I mean, they were staring. He's staring right. at Sadie for a second. Yeah, and importantly, it, we have to decide. The, the Rollers really have to decide here if they want to force buy to not give a match point. Yeah, or but if they lose this round and they force over. buy, it's over. It's over. So I think that we're going to see a for or a, a, an eco here from the Rollers. And they're oh, forced by. Nope, they are forced by. Okay. So if the Ringling Rollers get rolled this round, this should be game. Yeah. Well, they had more money than I thought, but um, the, it it's just it's a it's a bad it's a bad spot to be at. Yep. And here we have the Thrash and the Resurrection here. <laughs> yes. For our Lakers. Two huge so. alts. They also have a Resurrect and a Cipher alt on the opposite side, plus a Reina alt. We haven't seen the Reina pop that alt though. You know, there are some Reina players, believe it or not, Ben, that don't like to use their ult. That's crazy. Did you know that? That's crazy. Or their, or their utility. Th that's most of them. Yeah, that's very true. Not sure how the Ringling Rollers feel about their Reina, but <laughs> yeah. I would like to see maybe the Reina pop the ult when she's trying to keep the site three. here, but it won't happen. She's right here with the absolute elbow. elbow. Oh, but he gets a pick on the Spectre. With the um, Spectre. Gecko ult through teleporter, but everybody went long. It so. clears it, and it's reusable. Truth, so truth, yes. Honestly, we got so much fish from that. It's all good. Spike. Good a lot combo of utility. utility here. Yeah, Sage Toria orb. gets that pick in elbow, avenging her friend Sadie. Big refrag. And honestly, off that kill, or we had Toria all before. One of the rollers is in the teleporter right now, Ben. Just sitting in the teleporter. Oh, that's crazy. Toria peeks out as they're distracted exactly. by the Gecko Wall. Gets one. one enemy and gets oh three! Oh my god! Huge! Great spray from Slim. Player standing. Oh! oh! But, but the honestly, Cypher from power, the Rollers. 5 HP! Power. 5 HP! The only thing I wish I've seen there was that ult from Toria. Yes. That yes, I that think would have huge. shook the round up like crazy. This but, is Valorant. Yep. <laughs> huge, great retake. Honestly, sometimes a player just pops off like that. Yeah, that was. You just gotta go. Just gotta, you know, exhale and just move on. Crazy round for both Slim and the Roller Cipher there. Can we get a view on the econ? Crazy, uh, crazy game so far from okay. the Roller Cipher. Full buy for here. each team. We do have that uh, the operator on Slim here. Raise up. See what she can get done. And honestly, Slim is pretty close to having alt again. Five out of eight. True. Very true. We could see it before this game ends here. It's 11 That's to right. 10 now. Super close. Although they did concede complete control of showers here. Yes. Although the Sage Wall's there. That's true. I don't think the Cypher can fit through that gap either. Nope. Cypher's tiny, but not that tiny. <laughs> As long as uh, nobody peeks that little angle that's open there, and the Cypher's just going to fall off. Oh, they, they just are free B. took B without incident here. I don't think Sadie set up B this round. I think they're kind of expecting them to go A, even yeah. though they won the B site last time. Right One elbow going to peek out. Oh, and somehow not going to be punished for spraying that Sage ball down. That's a huge kill from Sid. I wonder if they're going to check the Sage here at Tucked In Long by Octagon. Sadie is about to peek the garden here. 
gets one through the, the Reyna is into elbow, but Slim is there, but doesn't get the first the pick. Reyna hits the devour too, so she's full HP. Somebody's got to get on the bottom here. It's ticking down. One's in hookah and one's in elbow, but the Lakers don't know. One down. Yui, the last live. Looks like the rollers are going to be tying this up, 11 to 11, and oh, Yui is going to die. Yes. Cooper, Ooh. unfortunate round for your Lakers, and this is just neck and neck. Yeah, this is neck and neck. I'll tell you what, this is not looking like it was a couple weeks ago. It no. does. It, it certainly seems like the rollers have practice for us. Yes, and Galaxy is going to call a timeout. Pretty. Good uh, call. Good yeah, call. this is a, this is a good choice here with your Lakers kind of be on the back foot, yeah. like we talked about. And we're at the end of map one, right? Like we really just need to take this opportunity to close the game out. Yes. Winning this map would be huge. Yes. Map one, you don't want to have to do a reverse sweep, right? Like you want to get that first map. You want to have the momentum. Them. You want to have just the confidence too. Definitely. The other thing is like when you're starting to lose rounds like this, especially when you have the yeah. ability to get to match point, and then you don't. Your confidence can be kind of shot. Definitely. So Lakers need to shake it off, shrug it off, take a deep breath, and let's hit our shots and let's win the game. And I, I imagine that's exactly what Galaxy's telling you. Oh, right without now. a doubt. Just one more round, we get to match point. Yes. And then we have less to worry about. Because exactly. Because then it's OT. And then you win split, and then you're chilling, right? That's right. That's right. It's quick 2-0. Yes, that's what Lakers. we like. That's what we like to see. Lakers are super good at it. So that's we'll right. be right back into the game here as the timeout's ending in just a few seconds here. Coach Galaxy giving him some words of wisdom, that's some right. words of encouragement. He does have that experience. Oh, he absolutely He's does. He's wise beyond his years. Without a doubt. Which are many. Without a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we do see three to four Lakers here going to the A site. I'm pretty sure Sadie would probably set up B this round as they kind of just got on there for free last time. Which might have been, might have impacted the round just a little bit too much that the Lakers did not want. Took a little bit of a gamble playing five on A that didn't really work out. Yep, so I think we're just back to a four, typical setup. Four through showers for the Lakers, but almost every single one of the rollers except for one is going to go through A short. And maybe one starting to lurk back towards Hookah. But the Lakers are going to try to get a key. Yeah, pick and they do. I have absolutely no idea how they got that pick. I don't either. Because they double swung and then the Viper had no idea, you know, Just target so much preference. Down range. Had no idea which one to look at. The Lakers are on an eco here. Yep, and they are together as five, so. Looks like Galaxy you. did encourage them to concede the match point, possibly, and then save for guns. Although they have round. guns. They have guns. They yes. have two guns. And this is a 43. They have the man advantage as well. Here comes a and Here comes a showstopper out from Slim. Gets Will one. get the stage. That's absolutely huge. She's it's got three this round. He's gonna start hitting the gear. One enemy remaining. Toria gets one with the, the, so the stinger. Wait, it's just one. And it's a basically a thrifty oh from God. the Lakers as they all bought like they all bought specters and stingers Match and they point. still won the round. Keep doing what yeah. We're doing. You know what? The we other thing it. I wish I would say I wish I saw some fist bumps. Yeah, the I know. Lakers after winning. That's a huge round. That's a huge round. That you went on a save round like that. We do get, we do have some smiles. The production caught that, which is good. I'm glad to see our Lakers are having fun because at the end of the day, it's about having fun. Huge call from Galaxy to aggress showers like that and yeah. get an early first pick. It worked out perfectly. So your Lakers are on match point now. You know why they call him Galaxy? Why? Galaxy brain. That's true. He's got to bring the size yeah. of the Galaxy. That's, that's true. Bad. That's true. He knew exactly what these rollers were trying to do. It does appear, though, that this time they are going to be hitting A. Sadie's not going to see anybody be long in there. Probably will just retract the camera. Going to peek out, make sure nobody's there. Maybe get, get the orb, maybe. Uh, she's got no alt points. I don't even know if it's worth it. I mean, oh. you, you either win here or you go to overtime, right? Yeah, it so. looks like one and five to me. I don't know. Yep. We're going to see a UA alt probably on lamps here. As the Rana's pushing up, she doesn't Your necessarily know. Taking out Reyna would be huge here. She might be waiting for the spike to start going down, though. You know what? That's Oh, but look at how many what of them are right there. I know. World. Oh, ult this Viper ult. Oh, there you go. Gonna stop the plan. Honestly, we have to Sadie here under power and, and Slim, Slim gets one under Reyna. Pushing through. Huge Cypher ult. They have spike, spike down. down a. The spike is not in the, uh, the Viper spike. One no, enemy not. remaining. Viper goes down. The last one's main. You know because the Cypher ult. And huge and the Lakers map one win. win. Huge, huge win. map one win for the Lakers. Huge final round, you know too. What? I mean, that was beautiful. The final two rounds were just absolutely fantastic from the Lakers. Brilliantly strat called by Galaxy there. I mean, there's nothing better that you could have done right there. Yeah, and not to take away from Galaxy, but also the team executed oh, that flawlessly. Perfectly. Absolutely Theory, perfectly. You know, like the Oppenheimer quote, theory will only get you so far. That's very true. They but have to execute it, these right? These Lakers are absolutely popping off. Oh, without a doubt. Huge way to just recover, just recover what you were doing, right? I mean, they were on the back foot, like, hugely on the back foot. There you can see the scoreboard there. Slim absolutely popped off. Had more combat oh, score yeah. than anybody else in the game despite having four less kills in power. Match MVP. Match MVP, baby. That's what That's we like, what to, you like see. to see. So victory map one for the Lakers. There's a great last final couple of rounds yes. there. I mean, 
they couldn't have done anything better. The no. executes were perfect. The strat call was perfect. That's the shots right. were hitting. There was nothing you could have done differently, and it doesn't. You yeah. didn't need to. You, you know, won. I, so a couple of rounds, I did feel like the Lakers lost control. But importantly, the most important part is being able to recollect yourself, and take they did your, that wonderfully. Exactly. Take your deep breaths and win the game. Drink right? some water. I love oh. that spray. You know that sky spray that you love so much. Yes. Drink your water. Drink your water. All right, guys. We'll be back here in just probably like a five-minute break for some drinks, for some food, bathroom break, and we'll see you right back here.
All right, everybody, back and better than ever for that's map right. number two on Split here. We're already in Asia Slug, Ben. Yeah, that's crazy. I wonder what we're going to see. I wonder if we're going to see some Clove action. Isn't this Split? This is Split, I believe. Yes. Here we go. No, but, oh, oh, we're seeing the... We do see a hover. Bird's brain hovering the Clove on. Oh, no, but we'll switch off. You know, the number one rule of casting is do not get excited about hovers. Yep, yep, that's unfortunate. They definitely But imagine us how fun it would be. I know, to see a Clove. Like, why not, right? Like... I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah, single elimination, but... Just you know what? Bonker. I mean, maybe it'll be just, like, another... I, we do see an Omen hover from, from UA, though. Might be just the same comp as last game. Yeah, for, Salty for run back here. You know, I, I, I'm kind of concerned about the Reyna. Yeah. Let's talk about that real quick. They didn't use their Empress like, once, at all. Like, once or twice, maybe? Yeah maximum but my issue is is like split is such split is a map that requires somebody to entry yes and if especially if we pick brimstone you don't have that like no. you don't have omen teleports you don't have anything nope shrouded step you don't have you don't have shrouded step you don't have anything you don't have jet dash it it it, it might be cooked <laughs> and it um is it gonna be cooked but for for your lakers we do see once again oh wait actually that says slim down there right for the race uh, no, that's Sid. See, this is what I'm talking about. The swapping of the wolves. That's, yeah, and we're kind of lacking some engage tools here for the rollers. Yes. Although they are on defense, so they don't necessarily need that right away. That's true. But it, it makes for a hard second half. You're going to attack at some point, right? And interestingly, we're on central Georgia now. I wonder if the servers changed with map picks. Maybe. That, that actually, that is. I mean, coming from our days playing in the in the, uh, that, in the that, that teams. checks, right? Yeah, you you swap you swap servers if there's not like an even even one, right? So makes sense. But we will see once again. GV starting an attack. Honestly, kind of advantageous. Yeah, especially because their comp. I think their comp is just suited so much better. I would agree. Yeah. We do see kind of the rain and the cipher playing A. Usually, you won't see two. Playing the same site with a cipher on there, but split sites are a Notice little bigger. Fake wall here from the Lakers. The Lakers, they use that Viper wall, the, on the, the site, toxin screen. They're not even over there. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of. Uh, they're doing a little bit of tomfoolery. Yeah, a little bit of the the old Viper wall boogaloo. That's right. <laughs> they're all right. Here we go into the into the round now. This is going to be a mid split first round. Going to take heavy presence mid, but the Sage is instant save wall. Although they do manage to get it down pretty quick. Viper Molly comes out though, so now they'll know that two players are playing heaven for the rollers. Yeah. They do know that, and they can probably anticipate. Well, they might think Cypher's on B, but we can see you are. He's on it. He's on A. Lakers going some up mail. Oh, no, now they will all go through vents here. Very wise. And they're just hoping to overpower the setup from the Cypher. The Cypher won't be set up for an for internal four. push, right? No. no. A little bit of a timing there as, as Toria somehow. Oh, but Cypher is team. still there in elbow. Uh, yeah, you can see on the mini map. Cypher is going to get one. Toria is being followed close behind by the two uh, heavy defenders from the rollers. Ooh, Reyna goes down. 2v3 for the lake. Last one standing. She's straight down from vents. So I was talking about earlier, there was just a little bit of a timing where Toria didn't see the Yeah, that, that flank comes through and it comes through hard. Yep. Although we do. Never mind. We do mm -hmm. see a first piss around once again going to the rollers here. They did win the first pistol on Vine as well. That's right, that's right, that's right. And, you know, pistols only really have so much impact. They're yeah, good for exactly. getting an early lead, but they guarantee pretty much losing round three. Yep. Piss around's not always the most important thing in the world. That's right. And, you know, this was a big talk back when uh, Valorant came out and it was MR12 and there's only 13 rounds to win, yep. as opposed to co old Counter-Strike where it was 16. People thought that piss rounds would be a lot more impactful, and we just haven't seen that no. reflected at all since no. the game came out. I mean, the meta is just to buy up the second round, right. right? And then you're just basically screwed on the third round. Yeah. The other team will buy the rifles on the third round, and then it's whatever. Yeah. But uh, there are some maps where you can kind of make it work, and I think that this one might be one where you could win that conversion on that third round. Yeah. Especially so with the double sentinel comp. They won't know, though, that we got Slim our Viper. is low-key being yeah. sneaky-beaky. Nobody is up here holding this heaven, although Viper... Or, is that Reyna? From the rollers, I hold, is holding heaven from the A site. Yeah, the Cypher and the Reina played together 
last round. Ah! Honestly, good Play pick from nice UA. Pick, yeah. Slim's not gonna know the box. Slim, Slim does make contact. Does hit him run. 26. You know, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, just you gotta get out of there. You gotta gun. Uh, little gun engagement. I think we uh, managed to get the Molotov out of there from Brimstone too. Yeah. Huge. Very huge. So Lakers are just gonna pull off now, kind of go quiet, cut noise. They do have a man advantage, but a huge gun disadvantage. That's right. But it, I mean, honestly, four pistols versus one SMG onto the B site, it's looking pretty favored for those four pistols. Absolutely. Although we do have a Viper one here. Yeah, no. Thirty seconds left. Viper's gonna get some sprays. A little bit of a health decay there from the Viper. Uh, Viper held standing. on just long enough for that rotate to come in, and now yeah. it's just Toria versus four. And the spikes on the site. This one's unwinnable here. I mean, the Lakers kind of got fish in a barrel there. Mm -hmm. Not much you can do. Not much you can do. It is what it is. You're expected to lose that round. Huge gun disadvantage. Yeah, and and it's okay to lose that round. Like yeah. it is expected. But when you do, when you are able to win it, it's huge. But Absolutely. you know, no harm done by losing it. Nope, no harm, no foul. And the Lakers will look to go into their first in the rifle round. That's game. true. And the Lakers will have the gun advantage here. Uh, more than likely, they will not just try to. More than likely, the Rollers will not just try to force up. Yes. So Viper Wall lineups here. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'm not really sure what that wall covers. Yeah. Oh. All right. Maybe a little bit of a tiny bit of mid control, maybe. Yeah. Just a teeny little bit, but if they're not gonna play off that wall, like, what's the point of you? Right there. It, right? We do have our game changers. They are pushing up mid pretty pretty quickly. Uh, they have complete control of mid. Yeah. No uh, safe is found. Paranoia point. goes out right into there. heaven. They are going to swing onto that character oh, brimstone there. I think it's a huge pick on the enemy rim there. If oh, the, the sage and the viper Dude, are still targets. here. Sage so does throw the gecko flash, but oh, then has sights to have clear. Fight. Yes, has to retreat though back for the spike as they were playing a little bit of a default, but nobody's on B now. Both A players. That's right. And it's super important round for the Lakers to win here, so hopefully they can get out of it without losing Slim. Yeah, only 12 HP. Here. Yeah, Slim is pretty low. I do hope that she can hopefully get out of this. I, I really don't want to see her go down here and lose that rifle. Yeah, that would be that would be a little bit. One uh, enemy okay, remaining. Huge. UA is going to kill the only one who might have had a bit of a. Oh, misses the Viper Molly, though. Yeah, the snake bite goes a little bit high, which is okay. Here comes another uh, one from heaven. UA should get this oh. easy peasy. Yeah. Only lost some armor. Cypher did try to clear UA, though. Almost as expecting somebody to be there, but didn't yeah. get the kill. Really heads up play there from Decipher. Absolutely. But your Lakers do win the rifle round, as That's we right. expected, so only down one round now. And importantly, they did not lose anybody, so they'll still have the rifles with a 5v5 rifle. Flawless. Flawless, baby. So That's exactly how we like to see it from Absolutely. our Lakers. Now, for the next 12 rounds in a row, flawless. Flawless. That's right. Flawless. <laughs> Two is all they get. Two is all they Two get. Two is all they get. Imagine, watch, that would kind of be a boring game to cast, honestly. We do see a heavy presence for the Lakers. Going up. Well, actually, not even. It's a bit of a split here, but there are three of the Lakers here, so I'd say. Yeah, so it does mid. look like Gecko is playing towards that B side of the map, maybe to get that alt point. It looks like he's sending Wingman in just to get some info out. It's yeah, see if he's going to see anybody, but didn't see Oh, anyone. you know what? Honestly, it, it might have worked, except for the fact that the spike is over there with yeah. Gecko. Um, the timing for Slim. Now this A side is clear. The entire A side of the map is cleared, and I'm going to attribute yeah, that to Wingman. Fine. Yep, absolutely. Pulled the uh, the rotates over there from that Wingman. That's no, right. Oh, this could be a huge snake bite, but don't look away. Oh. Rehold that angle. Huge, huge heal, huge heal. They are pushing through heaven. There's two of them there. Oh, oh huge down. secondary swing here yes. from Slim. One more coming from CTS. Oh, but one is in vents, and I don't think anybody knows about the enemy vents. One enemy oh. remaining. Oh, once again. And they should get sussed nice out. Shots from Slim, yeah. Only yeah. losing one is huge. Absolutely now, huge. if I'm not mistaken, our rollers should be on yeah, an eco. Go around. And here comes an early instant timeout. timeout here. It's only two to two, and they're already burning a timeout. This is what we kind of saw. This is what we saw earlier on, on, on the map one, two, yeah. behind, right? They lost the first couple rifle rounds in a mm -hmm. row, and then they time out. What do you think they're talking about here on this timeout? Honestly, there can't be too much. I feel like they maybe wanted to talk about that wingman pulling mm -hmm. the rotates like super early. Like we yeah. only had one piece of utility and the entire team yeah, was rotating. It, it just seems like they're getting pulled every which way, like they're yeah. some sort of silly putty. Same kind like, of thing that went on on buying too early on. Is that they're very like, 
I guess, just negligent in holding their sights. They're very, very, very reactive. Oh, yes. You hear anything on one site, instant rotate. You just bait those rotates. You can bait the utility all day, right? How do you think they can fix that? Just by not playing into the, the default that the Lakers mm -hmm. are playing here, right? I mean, uh, you have yeah. to stay your sights. Until you really know that they're hitting the site absolutely, I think stay your sight. I think that the rollers need to be taking need to be a little more proactive and take some space. Yeah. I think that they are just like I said, they're just getting pulled every which way. But mm -hmm. if they have some control over something, because they're conceding everything. Yes. If they have just a little bit of control over something, oh. you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Nice turtle head there as we <laughs> come back into the game. <laughs> Yeah, nice turtle head when we get back to live. Thank you to our wonderful <laughs> observer. I heard he has a right gun buddy. I know I said that earlier, yeah, but... He does have a right gun buddy. <laughs> and if you have a right gun buddy, you can look at turtle heads. That's right, that's right. Privileges. So we will see a bit of like a 4-1 split. One of our Lakers going to go super right up. here. And it, interestingly enough, once again, we do see the oh, gecko sana, with the spike on the side of the map. But this time, she's not solo. Nope. Does have a lot of presence in mid for the Lakers here as they've been trying to control. Them. Yeah, and like I said, it just seems like they're giving it up. Like they're spending so much utility there, and then they're just giving it up completely. Yeah. I mean, it is crucial for either side on this map to have control of mid for a quick. Rotation. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. They're actually gonna come out. One, but the trade. Honestly, out. big trade, but that, that, that's a huge pick for the brimstone to get there. Bird's brain there. Yeah. You know what? I just if, imagine if he was close. One right. more. I know. I know you can just res and you're fine, right? That's right. Boom. Sadie will take a, a little bit of a cipher cipher dart, but does take it out. You guys spike the planted. Oh no! Somebody's walking up from mail. Oh, Definitely gonna clear. Oh, seize the barrel. Yeah. Oh, seize the barrel, and you. Oh. So goes down. unfortunate. Didn't expect somebody to be coming from the flank there. 3v2 now. That's okay. We have a pretty good hold in the site. Slim is over there in main. They know where both of them are, I think, or maybe Blowers, just one. Blowers have weapons now, though, Ben. No that is true. Any. That is true. Get him, wingman. It is a 2v3 with full rifles, but let's not forget that Sadie does have crash again. Crash is yeah. done with you. There right now. All okay, right, and now we have Vish. One enemy remaining. And and it, on good pick for play. Toria, and I think that the Reyna just has to run here. Just. Try to oh, run, no. save the rifle. She gets one. Oh, no, there we go. For a second there, I thought she might try to aggress main and fight for that, but that would be crazy. That would be absolutely insane. She uh, she didn't let the demons convince her otherwise. Slash <laughs> FF there. Can you imagine? Can you just get an FF out uh, from I our mean, rollers. Could happen. Yeah. You never know. I mean, they still only have two, right? Two is all they get. Chat comes in. Tech pause. Mic not working. For Lakers. For the rollers. For the rollers. All That's right. right. So quick tech pause here. Yep. Hopefully quick at least. Yes, right. Hopefully it's just a quick headset issue. Maybe unplugging it and plugging it back in will fix it. That's what my uh, IT degree tells me to do. That's right. That's right. Unplug, yeah. I, replug. Yeah. Honestly, I work for the state of Michigan, and it's just pretty much just unplugging and plugging back in, and that yes. is what it happens. <laughs> and there's, I mean, sometimes that's the best thing you can do, right? Shut yep. it off. Shut it back on. We do see a little bit of LEC cam here. Once again, your Lakers looking good there as they uh, as they continue to win rounds. Yeah, uh, the gameplay just looks great. I love around. how they're all I love how they're all decked out in their uniforms. Absolutely. You know, back when we would play for Grand Valley, the, the uniforms existed, but like not really. Exactly. It was kind of like a, a a commodity rather yeah. than something that the competitive teams really got. You know. Yeah. Uh, but now, if you're on a competitive team, I believe we supply them to you. So. Yeah, that's huge. huge. Oh, here we have the off angle This is here. what I like to call the pants cam here. The so pants cam. The pants cam. The pants so, cam. So, Ben, what do you think is crucial here now for the rollers losing three rounds in a row? Well, honestly, like I said, I just think that they need to be more proactive with taking space. Yeah, it's like, what I, else can you do? I think that the Lakers are doing a very good job of just making sure that when they hit, they hit really hard. Yes. Um, yes. What they can also send one person to the other side of the map and throw a free piece of utility, and then <laughs> it pulls rotates. four. Everybody rotates from it, A to B. It's, it's kind of remarkable. It really is. It really is. But the Lakers are going to keep looking to be able to do that, right? Yeah. And just continuously pull those rotates. That's right. Pull the utility out. Bait, bait out as much as you possibly can. Yeah. And make these rollers play into your hands. You know, but I really think that the rollers have an opportunity to just start taking a lot of space across the map. Yes. So here we go. Maybe... Oh, man. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'll tell you what. I actually bought this collection when it came out in the shop the first time. Um, but if I had to, like, choose which one of these to, like, buy as a figure. All the chibis. 
Yeah, the Chibis, I would have to pick the Sage because, or the Killjoy because they can stand up by themselves. That's true. And it would look better on a display. But I think that the Sage is just so cute. She's like <laughs> laying back on a wall like that. <laughs> I think that's just so adorable. I mean, as a, as a Jet player myself, I have to be partial to Jet. But also, I, I think the Cypher kind of looks like a Chad. He does. Pose, honestly. He does. And honestly, I love how Riot adds these little Easter eggs across the map. Yeah, it's like this is literally just like a Riot game store yeah. in the middle of the map. And look at that Killjoy. I have a Spectre like, with that's the that like backdrop on it. Like, how sick is this? It's awesome. We Thank love, you, Riot. We love Easter eggs from Riot. Yes. We love Riot games. <laughs> Thank you, Riot games. Hopefully this quote-unquote mic issue gets resolved here soon. Maybe they're running out to like maybe they're running out to Best Buy to get a new one. That's <laughs> Can you imagine? If that's the case, man. <laughs> they're running later. they're like running around their apartment complex. Does anybody have a headset? Does Extra anybody have headset. a headset? Extra headset. I don't care if it's the Booga headset, man. <laughs> the Booga headset. The Booga headset. That's Yo. What, that might be what they're using, honestly. I <laughs> I'm thinking that somebody just forgot to charge their headset last night, and now we're paying the price for it. Yep. That Logitech wireless, man. That's what I It'll use. It'll get you every time. It'll get, It'll you, get every you every time. time. It'll get you every time. You know, if you, uh, if you double-click the, the power button, it tells you what you're at. Yeah. So how do you feel about the utility usages of each team on the map here? Let's start with the rollers. You know, I think for the rollers, they are very, very, very keen to just chucking as much util mid as they possibly can. Yeah. But then not playing off of it, yeah. right? You're going to throw a ton of util mid to try to, like, hold the control of it. Yeah. But then not control. They don't off play of off of it all. They don't no. even play anybody in vents. No, it's just it's almost like they're just throwing the util to, like, stall them. Like, they're like okay, after 10 seconds, boom, you can yeah. have it, right? Like, yeah, and what's the point? It appears that we are going to be back to live here before we can cover the Lakers and their utility usage, but that's fine because we're just going to see them school these kids. Exactly. It's just better. You don't have to talk about it because their utility usage is right there. better. There's nothing to critique. That's right. There's nothing to critique. But finally, the mic issue is fixed. Booga mic in hand. That's rollers right. Are ready to the go. fifteen dollar Walmart microphone coming out here for the rollers. That's it. That thing's for five gotcha. low. <laughs> Not the five low mic. <laughs> the Lakers are just gonna hit A fight here. Sid gets that great opening pick on to Reyna here. Yeah, even though the Cypher is playing oh, the rollers, Cypher, everybody's back. Cypher is swinging elbow. elbow? Yeah. Oh, gets one to. Have find him out and awesome instantly trade off by Slim. Slim is only one away from the Viper's pit. I think that would be a very important piece of utility to play off of. Huge. 4v2 now for your Lakers. 4v2. 2v3. 2v2. Okay, let's stop peeking now. Let's stop talking. Yeah. Caster cursing it just a little bit. Rez comes out now. It's a 3v2 Lakers down. Will we see the Reign of Pop the Emperor? Oh, huge hospital flick from C there. That's the diamond gameplay you like to see. That's right. That man's going on a marathon. You and must. it is important to note that Viper is still one on the remaining. Oh, okay. nice well, play. So even though they got, the, 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 they got the resurrection ball. out. Yes. Yeah. That's huge. You're going to res a teammate and not right even get round off? I you? know. I, that, that feels so bad if you are those <laughs> the roly polies there. Yes. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. All right. We are back into another round, though. Lakers looking to take it up, uh, hopefully, 5 2 here. Yeah. Once again, Rollers having one rifle round. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, there. Evan. I'll tell you what. It, it's important to note that Reyna has had Empress for like for three or four rounds. <laughs> and we're not and using it. And we're not it. using it on the, on the boss spot. What is the point of playing oh, Vision and then not using her ult? It's the best part of her game. She gets unlimited heals. She gets yes. unlimited dismisses. It's absolutely and, insane. And an increased fire rate. And an increased fire and reload, reload speed. speed. There's, no, there's no disadvantageous way and, to use that And the heal is instant. The yes. heal is instant. You don't, you don't even, even have to press the button. The only thing you have to worry about is hitting E to dismiss. And that's, that's like right. the most brain dead action you could do. <laughs> Literally. You don't have to do You don't even have to think about it. Yeah. So, so here we see some pretty even pressure split across the map here for the Lakers. We have three in mid. It's classic one three one. Three three in mid, one in B main, one in A main. Uh, we do see the Viper Toxin Wall is on A site. I think that's just more of a bait yeah. than anything else. Yeah. It, the Lakers are starting to lean towards the B side of the map. The Rollers do pop up their Poison Cloud uh, to deflect them for a little bit, but now Viper is just out of gas and the Lakers have the, the go-ahead to just run in. Yeah, here comes Sid, though. Slim and Sid. did get taken out, unfortunately, in the mid. Oh, yeah, we'll throw a couple slow rolls up there into the Oh, 3v3, oh, nobody's holding heaven. That's okay. So unfortunate. Down three. Here we go. Now. Another round where we have the Empress that would absolutely change the course of this round, but will we use it? Spike no. Oh, they're on a Guardian, so it may not really be worth it. You know, maybe that's the reason. Maybe they're a Guardian player. 
I don't use Vandal because I don't know how to use it. Well, I, I and sometimes Last the Vandal is pretty down. difficult to use. So we'll see exactly here what Reyna can get done. Uh, does pick up the Vandal, and here we go. The Everest gets popped. They must be stream sniping. Instant here. This is exactly the value. That, that's exactly the value that you can get. Why are we not wow. using that all in a different situation, right? Like you win the round here, but like. I, I don't know, man. Clutch. Pop that ult when you get it. Like, you, the Lakers are aggressing a site. Pop yeah. the ult, use it, stop them from... But, I mean, all credit there to Code Blue. Um, that was just absolutely fantastic usage of yes. the Empress. That's exactly what we've been, we've been waiting to see, and it single-handedly won them the round. Yes, that is what that ultimate is for, That's right? what that agent is for. Yes, taking an advantage by having legitimately every advantage of the game. Faster firing, faster reload mm -hmm. speed, instantaneous heals. That's Even right. Even when you just get an assist. Full heals, too. Yes. And everything about that agent is amazing. You know, right. something that I don't think we've touched on yet, yeah. besides at the start of the game in agent select, is that this second half will be so difficult. Yes, like, absolutely will be. They have no, like, uh, they have no entry. <laughs> the, oh, in, the only flashes they have are the Leers. Raina does get a little bit of sin, though, as she tried the blast pack, I believe, into heaven. It's mm -hmm. big we do have the resurrection, the and notably, we do have the Viper's Pit. Koblu does get another pick. And honestly, I think that's a good thing here in a 4v3. Yeah. One thing I will say, though, Ben, is I feel like the Lakers have a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> just like a... They, they don't think necessarily about what angles they could get peeked from. Like, mm -hmm. I see a lot of, like, turning backs to open angles, you know, yep. type of deal. We got to try to One more enemy more remaining. Look come from. Huge picks, though, and inside honestly, of the Viper roll. Great, great usage of the Viper's Pit here. Brimstone just running around like he has no idea what's going on. I mean, there's not much you can do. Yeah, this right just here. save the gun, play for exits. That's what he's doing. That's all you can do. Yeah, and honestly, really well executed. Despite going two people down at the start of the round, the yes. Lakers somehow managed to cinch it out, Still mostly because of that Viper's Pit. I'd huge, say that's a very jolts. good usage of that utility. Without a doubt. And, I mean, they're going to capture, what is that, round number five here as well? So that's right. Five wins on the board. Going up five to three is huge, especially this on this map, too, with a single elimination bracket. Yes. So Lakers are looking to 2 0 oh, your rollers. You are just turning, tuning in. They did it in the first map. That's right. I believe it was 13 to 11. So pretty close it map. It was close. It was close. But the Lakers did pull it out with some great strat calling from Coach That's Galaxy right. and executions from your players at the end of the game there. Yep. And great mid round calling from their IGL. Huge. Yes. Absolutely huge calling. But we are up now on the attack side on split, which you don't see very often. Defense is ultimately the best side of the map on this on this map. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Just because like uh, they have such a quick rotate from mm -hmm. site to site, and both sites have like super like fish and barrel type channel type channel type yeah, just crazy. Yes. You can just chuck until do whatever you need to do. I mean, it's basically a funnel point that the attackers have to come through. And I think that's why they chose uh, an agent kind of like Viper. Yes. Oh yeah! yeah. Monster on the loose! Those, those one combined with that Sage utility, just like we saw in map one, it can yep. be so attacking. Just stuff those choke points. Right? That's right. Mosh pit! Here comes a mosh pit from the get-go into Ben. Oh, oh, double peek there. Oh. Sage does bad. kind of make it out. You will not kill my ally! Last player standing. One team ace. It will be a team ace from the rollers. Five to four now. That's a tough round. It, it all kind of just fell apart in an instant. Yes, that's yeah. what sucks about mid on on this map here, Ben. Is like you have multiple angles you need to watch from. You're trying to push into yeah. mid. Maybe somebody peeks you, vents takes you out. Maybe it's the opposite. Try to push into vents. Somebody peeks you, mail. It's just so difficult to actually hold control of that. I have never seen that cipher trip before. Interesting one. It, it's like it's doing the Tour de France. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long trip. That is a long trip. <laughs> Lakers once again looking to take out a two-two mid split. You know, I kind of like how they're just conditioning the rollers to just lose mid every round. Yes. This is something that I love to do in my games. You just need to have teams accept that this is your part of the map. They don't get to play here. Not only that, but you're going to get them, buddy. Throw their at the start of every round. That's I mean, right. Sage wall goes out. Bring some smoke comes out. You're having to throw a viper wall there, even though you have a sage wall there yeah. at the beginning of every round, because they spray it out every round. Yeah, they they just instantly gone. That that wall goes up before it's even fully healed. Gone. Boom. You can't you can't stop them. We do see a paranoia oh, running into heaven, but they're not actually going to aggress off that. Reyna is waiting for our Lakers in the vents here. I wonder if she's going to be able to get a pick oh, and fall out. And does. She does. Get the pick onto UA. Down. Only 45 HP, though. It's Reyna. 
Yeah, well, Rainy gets one pick, she's back to full health, and Woo! won't. Ooh. Slim with huge got and a great headshot headshot by the Phantom. Oh, oh instantly traded out, CT, though. though. Again, oh. back to CT. Last player standing. Oh, and then, yes. So unfortunate. You it's gotta okay. expect multiple people from those angles, especially when there's still four left alive. Yeah, especially when you're attacking into a site. You have mm -hmm. no idea how many players are still there. 30 you only seconds eliminated left. Eliminated one there in the CT spawn. Yep. You know they have to rotate basically through there or through events to come from B. Mm -hmm. And I think the play is for Sadie to just save here. 20 seconds left. Uh -oh. Go down, unfortunately. Oh, save the rifle. Around the rollers, it is all tied up. Five, five. Might be another uh, tied up half here, man. Like we That's saw right. Week. And honestly, that is the best thing that the Lakers or and the Rollers, honestly, that is perfectly net even. Very true. Neu true neutral. If you're I mean, a D&D uh, enjoyer. Honestly, though, having five or even six rounds on attack on this map is like massive. Yeah. It's massive. Honestly, yeah, because you're you're sitting pretty with four. Yes. Although not a cipher for Grand Valley this map, though. That's Just true. Just the Sage Sentinel, so a little bit. Less adept for defense. That is true. That game. is true. However, look at the comp for the rollers. Yeah, they like we've talked about. They really don't have anything to just entry. Whatsoever. Yeah. Like they're just gonna oh, right. run. I think it's interesting. Fire, that the are kind of aggressive. So hard here. Oh, 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 Sid, oh. I should say. Ah. Say you look at the play, totally there. goes down. Maybe hey. the Lakers honestly have a pretty okay. decent position here. There is one rifle down. Gun here. Yep. It is spotted out by Sid there. Somebody should try to push for that. I believe that Sid is running, oh, making, up, a, making a run for it. Gets the orbital strike out. One enemy nice remaining. shots there from Slim as she gets the headshot, and we'll get a Phantom now as well. Oh, this is so hard. Thrifty. They just thrifty them. Nice thrifty round for the Lakers to take six. They could get a 7-5 attack half. They on could get a 7-5 attack half. Can we see the, the uh, economy situation Can't here? Can't take anything with us after this. See what's, Go for see what's going on for rollers. Looks okay, like so it looks like the rollers do have enough money to full buy here, which is good for them. Otherwise, this this game would be chalked. Yes, it would be a 7-5 attack half, but it's going to be a 7-5 attack half anyways. Knock on glass on this, <laughs> on this caster table. This wonderful this caster table graciously provided to us by the Grand Valley State University School of Communications. Yes. Big, big plug to them, letting us use this space. That's right. Every single week. This is up. Gecko Flash instantly be made. Sada, so sada. Sada. Not get aggressed from that typical opping angle that's going to be there. You know what? Sadie, importantly, is only one off Thrash now. Yes. I, mean, I got this the spike. last round of uh, a pack, too. Down. Yeah. This would be a great time to use it. Slim is just going to kind of hold a main here, just a little bit of control so that they know that nobody's flanking them quickly here. You know right? what? The Viper Wall here from Slim will actually allow them to grab that second orb for True. Gecko. True. Allowing Gecko to get that Thrash. Uh, it'd be sprayable from the rollers, but nobody's really in a position to do that. No. We see that the Reyna is holding deep on sight and Cypher's holding heaven. Nobody's on your main either. He comes oh, again flash. Cypher is not actually going for it, but it looks like we're just going to get the point anyways from the Edmus plant. comes out again then. Here we go. Two times. Might be more than we saw last time. Oh. Yep, and this Empress is really dangerous. Oh, but we'll go down. Yeah, traded out by Slim. Huge uh, little flank there. Yeah, absolutely huge. We do have the Viper Spit, though, for the rollers. Yep. You know, it's a defensive alt, but it's still pretty good on the retake. We saw them use it in the first game. You just have to be able to get to a point where you can use it. Though, that's right? true. That's true. And honestly, so pretty much the Lakers just need to hold them back here. Um, last player standing. We go down. Slim gets one. Tori last five. Is vulnerable, but still gets the headshot. One enemy oh, is huge! One. On spike, but does fall off. Doesn't oh. get half. Unfortunately, honestly, really well played oh. from Toria there. Really well played from the rollers too. It was so close, but you have to respect that spike tap when it's in a true viper ultimate right there. Yeah, right? you can't. Uh, that's exactly how we won map one. We just yeah. set, stuck the diffuse. Pros exactly. don't fake. Nope, pros are not fake. Switching sides. This viper for the rollers is not a pro, and did fake. Well, <laughs> c'est la vie. Six six even half. As your Lakers go to defense now, Rollers on attack. Once again, defense the better side of this map. That's true. And I, I like I like I've been saying, I foresee some issues here for the Rollers yes. actually attacking the site. Even though the Lakers don't have a cipher, I think that they're still in a very powerful position. Just having that Sage and that Viper, though that combination yes. of utility is just so strong together. Omen Paranoia as well. Omen Paranoia is one of the most broken abilities in the game. Yes.
I feel like every time that ability gets thrown at me, even if I feel like I'm out of range, it still hits me. It does, like, yeah. Just the little smoke tendrils just randomly touch me and I'm blind. Yep. We do see most of your, uh, or the rollers, I should say, towards B, only one in mid. Trying to take a little bit of presence, but Toria instantly threw that wall there. And once again, on pistol, it is yeah. super hard to take that wall. And out. importantly, it looks like we have no slow orbs on the Sage, which no. is um, a decision. Spike Slim, down, B. Down. Yep, and honestly, this is a 4v4 situation in the post plant. I think that as long as Tori just waits for the planted. rest of the Lakers team to hang up here, or to get here, uh, it'll honestly be a very winnable retake. Brimstone is running low on smokes. I think that this may be the last one. Should be. Tori bought half shields wall this round on this one. Mm -hmm. And but I just saw in the mini map there, Cipher from the Rollers is actually flanking through heaven to yes. get the flank onto our Lakers. There, nobody's expecting this. Nobody has even an inkling. And now the flank has been activated. And they're just fishing a barrel. Oh, so close from Toria though. Those half shields really did their work for a while. Super close. Nice headshots though from her. Yeah, well played. Well played. Just losing the pistol round again. I mean, we did lose one out of two last round. That's both the pistols this game. Mm -hmm. But once again, pistol rounds not a only so much value. Yeah, not a marker of uh, of the rest of the game here. So Lakers will be on um, definitely a huge disadvantage here. Sid with the uh, short. I respect this. No, yes. I respect this. I respect this as long as they drop a classic for themselves, both yep. of them. Which it looks like Gecko is going to, but I don't think Sid did. We'll just play in the Omen Smoke here. Only a Cypher. You know, they could here. actually overpower the Cypher. It looks like Cypher only has a pistol. Yeah. Strange, strange choice. Oh, no, there's the SMG. <laughs> nice. And that's nice a pick. shorty shot right in the dome. And then I say that we give this free orb over to Gecko. Toria, I don't know if they know that mo the rest of the rollers are here. Maybe they know that there's some presents, but well, I'm not they, sure they, they do see some. Them. Omen does use that uh, dark the shadow cover out. Yes. And here they come. Uh, do they know about Slim's position? The Slim is in a very strong... Yeah, they, they yes, clear. They know. Tori goes down. It's a 3v4 now. Spike planted. Does have an SMG. Yes. So it is... It, you know, it, it's not impossible. No, it's absolutely not. Although Reyna does get a pick in spawn. Last player standing. And then I'm not really sure what happened to that SMG. It didn't look like Gecko had it. No, I'm not sure. I thought Sid had it, the raise. Yeah. No. I thought Gecko had it. So, one of the two. But alas, Lakers get uh, get one or two frags there, but Here. do lose that round that we expect them to lose. So it's 8-6 now. Rollers on top. Nice city of split there. Yes. Beautiful. Kind of reminds me of like Tokyo, pretty much. I think that's kind of the vibe. Yeah. I think that's the vibe. The Japanese industrial city there. Nice architecture. We love to see it. Yep. I Looks wonder like if Yoru has any unique voice lines, if it is a Japanese oh, city. Oh, that could be. Yes, it is. Yes. I know Omen has some about um, Split. Because if you don't know the lore of Omen, he was ripped apart thousands of times by Viper. On Split? Maybe right. not on Split. <laughs> Here we go. Your uh, Lakers. Boys the Lakers do the have the gun advantage. Here comes Slim. Oh, oh. Slim can't choose which one to shoot. That's and a hard Slim choice. does do some damage. Yes, absolutely. So that is important, but that is a rifle over to the rollers. Spike planted. Unfortunate turn of events there. But Slim the one two. Someone's there. Flash comes out, knows one's hell. No frag going out yet. Now it did. Let's Sage gets taken out. 3v3 situation. One. The Lakers do still have the gun advantage. They do not know about Sage at Pillar, though. They do clear Reyna. They do clear Reyna in box, and that is a huge pick. Falling they down. <laughs> Sprays the whole way. You know, I kind of respect it. Last player standing. One enemy oh, remaining. Right, 1v1. 1v1. UA is so low. Yep. Has to just kind of respect this. Here comes 1v1. Oh. Unfortunate and unfortunately, the they lose SMG the, of the rifle buy up there. Huge round to lose, though, as the rollers now go up 9-6. to six. Yep. I uh, imagine that Coach Galaxy, if not this round, next round. Yep. Most definitely. Really well played, though, by the Lakers. Uh, that was a fantastic retake. They just didn't have taps on all of the enemies. Unfortunate. Yep. And the Lakers, it looks like they are doing a little bit of a half buy. Not I'm not certain that they'll again. still be able to buy next round with the amount of creds that they have, but I trust they can see it in their buy menu, and I can't. Yep. True that. Here we 
we go. Sin playing a plucky here. Does know that there is presence on the A site. And I wonder if they know about her. They're just spamming. Oh, no. Nope. They know about her. And she's spamming. Nothing to do there. Toria goes down. Yeah. Nothing going right for the Lakers right now. Definitely needs to be a timeout after. Time. Yeah, well, in a situation like this where it's just yeah. a pistol round, honestly, you can take kind of the last 30, 40 seconds of this round, just kind of think about what you're going to do next round. This is an old strat from Counter-Strike that Navi used to pull, where on pistols like this, they would kind of, well, they kind of invested in this But on standing. pistols, they would just use this time to figure out what they're going to do next. Yep. That's kind of all you can do right now. Yeah. It's a little bit I'm you will be able to get the kill there, unfortunately. That voice line from Cypher goes crazy. I Here does come the timeout. Here this. comes the timeout. So, what do you think they're talking about here, Mr. Term? So right now, we saw the Lakers lose their rifle round on mm -hmm. what should have been a mm -hmm. W, right? Yeah. I think the thing that we need to figure out right now is how the rollers are playing their attack. I think they've kind of got us figured out on how they play mm -hmm. or how we play defense, but we haven't really figured out how they play the map yet. Yeah. Um, and losing that first rifle round is just crucial for econ, crucial for motivation, you know, mm -hmm. momentum, whatever you're going to say. But we have to kind of figure out how they play and not let them make us play into them, right? And that's the big, the yeah. big thing. Yeah, and I almost wonder if the players just need to change the scenery. I almost yeah. wonder if we should switch up the map, switch up the, the, switch up the sides of the map. Yeah, mm -hmm. just kind of j literally just a change of scenery. I, yeah. It helps so much more than it should. Really true. Just kind of resetting your mental a little bit, not looking at the same corners, the yes. same angles. Yes, and playing the same spots every that's time. That's right? right. Shake it up for the attack, too, because yeah. they don't know that you're switching sites. I mean, if you don't switch sites like yeah. those first five rounds, you're not going to expect them to switch sites. Oh, man, Viper's going to be here. You go to that mm -hmm. site, but she's not, and Viper's there. Yeah. Right? So we'll see what they change up. We'll see what uh, which Coach Al or Coach Ga Gal might have said to them. Yeah, because we don't want to see the Lakers lose this map like this. No, absolutely not. And Bring uh, it back. 10's all they get. Yes, 10 is all they get. Unfortunately, if the Lakers, or when the Lakers win this round, yes. they uh, the Rollies will still have Econ. They have so much money. Yes, it's kind of criminal, honestly. It's the art of the deal with these ones. It like, they have is. so much cash. Ors and ors. So they're playing an aggressive little hold here. This is like, could be amazing or could be terrible. If they know you're there, you're just screwed. Like, yeah, it's, it's a one and done spot for yes. sure. Yes. I do like that Toria is just posted up here with the slow <laughs> orb. It, it unfortunately awesome misses, ability. but Slim Slip gets two. Down it's I, I don't think we can keep it. Poison oh, the poison orb game. goes down, and it is a 4v3 orb. situation. They do have the spike. Raina gets the frag. Raina does dismiss, and that's so oh, I don't know. One here. enemy okay, remaining. Sadie does get one, though. Spike down. But look at B. where Cypher is. Look at where Power is. Power is on that and flank, on as flank. always. Power is so good at these flanks. But well, we don't have any flank watch. We have absolutely zero. It does look like the Lakers are. Maybe they're maybe. they're aware that it could be a, a possibility. Oh, maybe they I talked don't think about Sid that. Saw him. Sid had the vision uh, well, on the Cypher head, and I don't think she saw him. I don't know if you heard the footsteps. 30 yeah, seconds left. Did. Yep, here we go. Here comes Ray's boom bot. Yep. Okay, now we know for certain. And we d we do have Showstopper. It would be so sad to see it used in this situation, but securing around is securing around. And we don't need Toria it. Toria gets, gets it. And we go up to 10, 7. So there we go. Out of the timeout, you slowed their momentum a little mm -hmm. bit. You got them on the back foot this time. Now you're looking good. Yeah. Now you've got a little bit more confidence. That was the first round you've won on defense. Yeah. So this is weird. We see a map like split, usually so defensively sided. See, both teams kind of struggle on the defense. Yeah, both teams have been doing really well on the offense, and I'm not sure what that says more about. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the, the offense just being better or the defense being a little lacking. Yes, I, I think it could be saying a little bit of both. Yes, very true. You know, the best offense is a good defense. Defense, defense wins championships. That's right, that's right. <laughs> defense <laughs> does win championships. Uh, a lot of presence towards A. And, and the showstopper doesn't get a anybody. pick, but it does do great quite a bit of damage to for the roly bullies here. Yes. There. So we can see what we can see. Oh, as she's running away. Huge oh pick. Has the, has the IQ to turn around and peek it and gets one. Slim no or doesn't know that nobody's mid. Yep. But there actually might be some rollers that are about to come that way as they look to be uh, rotating through sewers here. Yes, that's right. And we did hear a little bit of rope, but I'm not sure if that was in our vents or in the sewers there. Yeah. 
Slim kind of falling off of Mail there, but also the Rollers are coming back. Yeah. They're faking this rotate. Well, fortunately, the Lakers aren't really falling for it. We do see Toria rotating. Oh. I may have spoke too soon. Yes. I see they are completely abandoning this site, um, which is a little bit in haste, although we do still have Gecko here. Yes. We do have Slim on the Gecko, I believe. They're literally just sitting a main, just waiting. Yeah, it's they're uh, they're taking their sweet time with this. Gecko will not left. be cleared. Gecko they're does hear the footsteps, now. does communicate to the rest of his team. The nobody went ramp, so all four to sight for the rollers. Yes. Welcome to my. Oh, but they do have the Vipers fit to go down, but look at the Gecko ultimate is available here for Sadie. Sadie does get the one roller Sage. Here comes the ultimate. Oh, does suppress one. one. Clear close left onto Reyna. Reyna is not even considering that to be a possibility. The Lakers. Oh my Everybody goodness. dies. Boom, boom, boom. As the Lakers aggress from every single angle off that gecko all Clear out the Viper. And it's all set Flawless. and done. Wrap up another round. And then guess what we get off that round? Resurrection. Boom. Another humongous ultimate ability. And we have Slim's Viper all as well. Yes, we do. We have the Viper's Pit and the Resurrection. Yes. That is honestly the dream combination for any defense round. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. Yeah. That combination. You definitely could. The only thing you could ask for is the Omen ult to be buff. <laughs> right? Rework. Please buff Omen ult. Very true. We need. He needs something new. He's stacked, especially now that close in the meta too. Kind of shakes up a little bit. Doesn't take only completely out of it, but having something that makes him a little bit stronger. Like, I mean, close ultimate is just incomparable to open ultimate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like the, the strength levels are just completely different. Yeah, there certainly was a little bit of silliness there. Yes. We do see that the Sage Wall instantly goes down in the middle there. All five rollers in mid. Instantly re smoked with the dark cover from UA. They're kind of just posturing towards mid, held off by that cover from UA. They do clear into the smoke, see that nobody's holding inside of it. And one is coming through sewer for the rollers. Maybe take try to see if they can work up A a little bit. Mm -hmm, but some space. fortunately, UA is still there watching this. And they, the, the rollers oh, are diving. slowly pushing up into heaven. We Cover do have Toria out. being forced off of the angle. UA is healing know. up. That does get one. Three swings. Three swings. It's a 3v3, now it's a 2v3, Lakers down. Huge shots Great from Sid. Great spike down, down. Sid. One enemy nice. remaining. Great here. pick from UA, and we have control of the spike now. Power is that flank player, and we do see him kind of working up to the mid. Well, we saw the Reyna trying to go back to that Cypher position. That's true, she yeah. like, okay, he just walked up through A. <laughs> Cypher won't be able to get nice. it. So takes him down. Another round for Lakers. 10-9 now. Yeah, I'm not sure what Galaxy talked to them about in that timeout, but it must have been. It's, it's working. Dude, you know? I think he offered them free PCs if they win this game. Yeah, he must have offered them those setups. free Alienware PCs. Yes. In here the Laker go. Esports Center. And so, timeout from the Rollers. Yeah, that's crazy. Huge momentum shift here yes. in the second half of the game. So and we good. could see the Rollers just lose it right here, which would Dude. be the end of their season. Oh, and I mean, continuation of the Lakers season. Oh, right? of course, of course. <laughs> that's exactly what we want to see in the end. We want to yes. see the Lakers absolutely 2 0 -oh these yes. Rollers. Yes, once again for the second time this season. The right? second time this season. And the, only, the other time was just a couple of weeks ago. It's fresh in their mind. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking that they're starting to think about that situation right now. I think the Lakers are starting to figure out what these rollers are about on attack. Yeah. We've won, what, three rounds in a row now? Mm -hmm. And the rollers have used huge ultimates. I That's mean, right. Losing the round uh, when they had the Vipers pit up, I mean, just, I mean, it was a great, like, retake execution yeah, from the Lakers. Yeah, definitely. Nothing to take away from that. But that's like, that's just like a, a falling apart of the rollers to, to lose in that post plan situation. And I'm not really sure like what's even happening. No. Like it, it just seems like they, they were so dominant in the first part of the second half. Yes. And then just, just completely falling apart since the timeout. So Confidence let's see if this shaking. timeout, when we get back to live and we see the scuttle crab here, that's a scuttle shack. <laughs> now for you, you're not a League of Legends, you're not a League no. of Legends enjoyer. Neither am I, but I do play. <laughs> um, that is, the Scuttle Crab spawns in the river. It is a jungle camp. It gives you a little bit of gold and some XP. Okay. Yeah, really cute. <laughs> Slight little Riot Easter egg there. Toria will look to maybe aggress, be main, maybe wall it off. That's exactly what she's going to do. So Viper all comes out mid. Mid. All right, so they are just trying to control the right half of the map here, Ben. Yep, and it does look like they do know that at least a couple of them are in the B main. Now they know that at least one agent is mid, too, with those shots yep. coming through. We do know that Cypher is mid, and I almost think that Toria, I think that Toria should just fall off here. Play the oh, all. Does get one. Does wall. get one through the spray in the wall. Headshot onto her brain. You will not 
killed Instantly re res there. Oh, by oh, 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 oh it with the spray. Popping off. Here we it, go. Oh, it's just Out absolute destruction. Time. Power's the last one alive again. I Does know get one. Exactly it's sprayed down, are. though. Sadie can't get her spray to go. What a round from the Lakers, though. Oh, my goodness. And I do believe that the Lakers have control of the spike. So yes, it's going to be really hard for power to get in here. Yep. Does There's have almost full angles. utility. Nice. Toria and UA just holding that angle. Defensive round from the Lakers. Everything Execution. is perfect. It was just beautiful. It was Absolutely perfect. right there. Absolutely. There is our team. Look Every at them go. Every single frag but one, then. Every single frag but one went the Lakers' way right off the bat. That's I mean, right. They, they pushed through, like, the Sage U-Till. Toria got a nice spray through the Viper wall. Yeah. And then refragged you know off what? the Sage res. It's the res came out for the rollers. It's absolute cinema. It's seriously. It seriously is. I feel like I'm watching a movie, like Christopher Nolan directed movie. Right and that's now. exactly what I'm thinking. The only thing that we could use is like a showstopper every round, dude. Yes. Some more blast saying. packs or hey, some more paint shells. A little more. Oof. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so here we go. Sadie's playing mid here. The rollers are on an econ. Yes. I. Someone's there. Drag out. Gets two. Oh, oh, gets my two. Gosh. And does a lot of damage onto that. Third character, I believe, to be Brimstone in the bottom <laughs> mid. Great transfer. It Absolutely was dirty. Fire. Rest in peace, Wingman there. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, sacrifice the Wingman yeah. just to see if they still had presence there. But Toria also has a nice, dirty little angle. Yep. Could get picked on Cypher, though. Okay, nope. huge. We'll get it, but has to fall off. Instantly falls back so that she doesn't get instantly traded, which is a good idea. Absolutely. The Lakers are. Two for the Lakers. Yep, that's right. And the only thing that the uh, roly Polies have to play with is the... The oh, orbital strike. Mail. The mail. Gets sprayed Ooh. down though from some specters. But they're they're kind of Slim is holding a really weird angle here. Yeah, they um, don't know she's she's main though. Well, well now they, they do. Snake bit. Grenade. Snake bite goes a little wide. All the one it. enemy With remaining. The grenade. Yep, and the brimstone is on pillar and instantly like taken down by flag. Slim. Eleven rounds for the Lakers. Five right. in a row. That's that's what I'd like to see. Like oh. I said, you know, the the, the Lakers do have a crazy <laughs> momentum here, and it appears that the timeout did not help. Nope. It we did will not. see exactly what they cooked up. You see a little bit of smiles there. You'd like to see it. You'd like <laughs> to see it from our team. They're cooking something up in that they're, pot they're over there. They're cooking something. And even though we didn't get to see their silly silly little comp that they had teased to yes. us, yes. Um, we will still get to Hopefully see some good things for them in the rest of this game. Let's see exactly what the Rollies have been cooking up in this timeout on their rifle round. A lot of garbage. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of garbage. As uh, Nothing is going the Rollers' way in these last five rounds. Let's see if we can make a six. That's right. It will be a full buy, though, from the Rollers this round. As they did save mm -hmm. last. Mm -hmm. They sure did. I do believe, though, however, that their econ will be definitely hurt if they lose this round, too. I, it's over if they lose this round. Pretty much. Lakers just need to not get aggro here. Just hold. Just play your defense. Oh, hold your off. angles. No, no unnecessary peaks. That's right. Cough, cough, Austin. Our buddy on our premier team always takes some unnecessary peaks. Maybe you should look in this glass table oh, before you talk about over peaking. Maybe both of us, okay? Maybe both of us. Poison's off. It's okay. It's okay. We have, you know what? We have the Lakers here. We have, we have Slim. Slim is absolutely popping off this series. Well, Tori get another respray through the Viper. We, we do see quite a bit of damage being put down range there. Check, check for his PC. Stopper. Oh my goodness, all the frags are coming out for the rollers now. It's falling apart. The paranoia comes in, but nobody's really there to Spike play off planted. it. Sadie is stuck in heaven because of the brimstone smoke. Last so player good. And UA just gets strong in one pass. Stung by Koblu. Koblu is absolutely carrying this round right now on their back. Oh man, Sadie just gonna get swung from every angle. I thought she might have taken 15 damage there, but didn't. Flank is. Goodness. Oh, 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 oh so I thought close. Maybe. Can you imagine? I thought maybe. How oh. how insane would that round have been? That would have been like probably mo one of the most insane rounds Valorant I ever saw if she won that. I think yeah, I think ever. That was that was still even though we lose that round, getting those last two couple picks from yeah. Sony, huge, huge. Yep, and you can see here that the the money is running a little low on a few of the players yeah. there. Um, so if they lose this round, it's going to be quite difficult for them. Meanwhile, our Lakers will still be able to full buy next round if they lose this. Yes. So we are back up to 11-11. This game is looking very similar to map one. Man, oh man. Which dude. is, it's kind of what you like to see. You know, you don't want to see a complete blowout. That's you want to have a good opportunity for our Lakers to showcase their skills. That's true. A little bit of maybe, uh, they're kind of doing like a 2-1-2. Two -two. Yep. 
Okay. Yeah, Roker's defense here, but four mm -hmm. once again for the rollers. They're forfeiting quite a bit of mid control, but unfortunately, the only person that the rollers have there is Cypher, and Cypher's actually floating more towards the A side of the map. Yes. We do see an overwhelming presence for the rollers uh, towards the B side. They but are kind of working away from it, though. Yeah, we do see a couple people slowly walking back and forth. They're kind of. Uh, it seems like they're indecisive right now. I will say that it's kind of surprising seeing Shadows as they just traveling. won that site pretty handedly. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it did get pretty close. If not for the Empress on um, Cold Blue, it would have been way a way different story. That's very true. So we do see them start to walk out of here. I yeah. think they're intimidated by Slim's Viper utility. Oh, and UA goes down, though, on that Cypher. Yeah, Power oh. does get the pick onto UA. I think that Power, their ability to just sift through the back of the map and find these openings is an absolute boon for the rollers. I just don't know how the Lakers aren't expecting it at this point, though. He's been doing that every 30 round. seconds That's left. That's true. Yeah, and honestly, it, it it's tough because... You can't just completely disregard an entire side of the map. We have a, we have a, a Sage Res from Toria, though. Yeah, we do. Might be advantageous. Yeah, to and honestly, oh, no! UA is in a very revivable position. Yep, and that, that res heaven. goes out. I really like the usage of the thrash there. Yeah, clears out heaven. This could be a fish in a barrel moment again. Mm -hmm. Here come the Brimstone Mollies. Yeah, we do still have thrash, though. Every roller Her. is on site. Nobody's playing against your heaven. Obviously, your Lakers don't know that, but they will start to push in. It becomes a little overhead. Ah, they're, they're, they're coming out, but one enemy remaining. remaining. Every just a firing squad. One. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. We moved to match point here for the rollers. Oh. Terrible match way point. to concede match point there, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, the Lakers are still able to buy, and let's take this out of regulation into overtime. Yes. Here are flex towards the piece. I hope they hit that. Oh man, that's got my blood pumping. Such a close game. It is, and honestly, this is completely different than what we saw a couple of weeks ago. Yes. It, it is obvious that the rollers have done their homework on our Lakers, yes. which is just a testament to how good they really are. True. I believe that was a uh, alt UA there. She tried to see if anybody was aiming. Oh, away. Was. Somebody's there. I Pick almost wonder out. if. Gonna press and unfortunately, oh. we're taken down. Probably something we didn't necessarily need to keep there quite so early. Was just trying to get the frag off the flash though, but put some yep, and we do have a utility down. that will hopefully zone off the rollers from actually pushing into this B site. Boys the rollers off. do still have resurrection there on Sage. True. They are just going to push to the site. Toria will spray down, does good damage onto the. The brimstone hit him about 70. Yes. All of Slim's utility is gone. Nice flags coming from the Lakers, down, though. B. Yes, yep. 4v3 situation. No oh, Sage Res. 4v1 situation. No Sage Res here. It is all down pillar. Viper. <laughs> Does run out of the site. Has the bomb, I think. I wonder if it's oh, just no, a little mind. bit bomb of a bait. Bomb is back site. Bomb is back site. Or is it a or? Viper does have to push through it. Mm hmm. Don't peek it, Tori. Don't do it. 30 seconds left. Oh, does Got not it. expect Slim to be there, and we overtime. go to overtime, baby. That's okay. exactly what you, you love to see that from the Lakers. Keys to overtime attack for overtime. the Lakers. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is I think that we honestly did really well on this. We just need to make sure that when we run into that Cypher and Sage combination, mm -hmm. Maybe we just go the other way. Yeah, I would let's, agree. Let's continue to condi condition this team to take complete mid control. Yep. Do not allow them to play there at all. I think that if we allow Slim to use her wall to get control of Heaven, we'll have so much freedom because we'll have control of mid and Heaven on A. So true. The other thing I would love to see once again is if we could pull the rotates early from this team. That's right. That's right. And we saw how easy they rotated from oh, Wingman. Dude. Yes. Literally heard the Wingman. Wah, 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 yeah. And they all ran from I know. The it's like side. It's like that Yoru piece of utility, the Yoru C, the fake footsteps, yes. but it like baited all of them. Literally all of them. Yes. It was honestly kind of sad for the rollers, but you know what? It is what it is. And here we see again, the rollers are not contesting the control at all. Nope. We'll throw util. We'll throw util as it. usual. I don't think that's the wisest choice there. If you're going to leave mid like that, you might as well not even throw any util. Yeah, I completely agree. They may as well save that wall for heaven. Yeah, and that brimstone smoke. Like, nobody's playing there, anybody. Mm -hmm. Who are you smoking for? Mm -hmm. And it's important to remember that Viper utility is very, very static. Yes. Like, you can't really move it. No, unless you somehow are able to pick up your Q after you throw it. That's right. 
there if the attack is no longer there. But uh, looks like looking a little antsy here for the rollers as they're starting mm -hmm. to move around. Not sure where your Lakers are at. Yeah, we are still playing that one three one setup that worked so well for us on the first mm -hmm. half. They do spot out Wingman, do take him down. Rest in peace, Wingman. Thank you for your sacrifice. But no early rotates. Mm -mm. No yes. early rotates. It, it, it's a good thing that they learned fight. about that because we don't want yes. them to. One of your Lakers is lurking up on A, though. It is slim. Mm -hmm. She's and almost all It is. Down. Ares Pro 89 kind of does suss this out a little bit. They they are aware that it's a possibility. 30 seconds Moving left. Maybe back towards Vents, holding mm -hmm. it a little bit. And they're honestly very worried about Vents because they have no control over mid. This exactly. is exactly the danger that not having control over mid gives. Oh, nice. oh, huge flick from Slim. Uh, Viper Diff. Viper Diff, absolutely. Huge pick from Slim. 13 Bongo's seconds left down. on the clock. The spike is going to get planted. The spike Grenade. does go down there. That was a long round. Yeah, that was right down to the wire. And, but it's not over yet. It's still a 5v4 situation in this overtime. We are two off the Viper's Pit. Probably not going to come out this round. Oh, Slim does go down to Miso Stu. Miso Stu does get two. We battle player standing. Sadie gets one, but everything else does not go Lakers' mm -hmm. way. You know, honestly, the only thing I think the Lakers could have improved on there is just not peeking heaven. Yeah. I think that's a very weak position it for is. you to be holding. And they have to fall off of it anyway. Right. They, they, have to come out. they have to push into you, and I don't know if you noticed this, but Gecko is Switching actually sides. holding hell. Mm -hmm. Match so point. it would have been very, very, very okay if yes, just exactly. hadn't held it. But that's something that we can see because can, we have right. the observer's view. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, observers and production team. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout there. out producers and floor managers. And floor managers, yes. You Everybody involved. Same setup. same setup coming down from Slim on B main here. Isolate and exterminate. Once again, we kind of see rollers maybe uh, looking to aggress mid. Yeah. Not something we saw a ton from them on their actual attack. Maps. And it does look like the Lakers are kind of just going to passively sit here. They do sh the the rollers do shoot down Torres wall in mid. Yep. We do get a UA cover out here. Oh, well, Sadie's going to see that cipher trip. Won't know that he's still in sewer. Yeah, and honestly, they have to be really careful of Sadie. I think she did make one footstep, so they do know that she fell back towards A. Yep. But they do have to be very careful. Out. We do have some interesting camera angles coming out here from the observer. The rollers, the are, rollers are pushing B site. One roller down. Lakers yeah, one roller down. Five e four situation. Pretty strong position for the Lakers here. We have to be very careful about how we're peeking this on the. The paranoia gets three. Another one for Sid. Spike down B. Massive. Where's and the cipher, Ben? Where's the cipher? Where That's is the cipher? Well, the cipher's in main. He's not flanking this head. round. Nope. And It'll now they fun. have to worry about, but now Cypher might be in their head a little bit. Where's power? Where's power? Power could be behind us. Check flank. Check flank. Yep. These are all things that are going to be going through the four remaining Lakers' heads left. because power has the ability to win this. Truth. It's not a one know. round. Oh, makes the footstep. Instantly spammed out. 28 HP left. Okay, it's one. Oh, man. And we go to double overtime. We go to double OT. No draws in the college university space. No draws here. Switching sides. This is the way I want it. Yeah. Overtime. Oh, yeah, this isn't soccer. You <laughs> can't tie. <laughs> you can't tie. No no disrespect on soccer, though. No, no, Great no, sport. No, 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 no. But the fact that you can end up tie always irritates me. Yeah. Somebody's got to win. Right. We'll see most of your Lakers over here towards A. Yes. And honestly, what I kind of just want to see them is just hit them fast, hit them hard, just like Breach says. Yes, yes. And, and we do see, see the blast back here from Sid gaining a lot of space right off the bat. Is spotted out. But don't want to turn your back to those long angles. We still have, we do have a ton of control here. Bomb Buddy Bot will probably see one of them. Goes down to Aries Pro 89, rather unfortunately. We do still have one towards Elbow. Is sussed out by Toria. Instant 4v4 situation. Great position for the Lakers to be in. Wall raised. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Viper <laughs> puts it up on the top. wall. Does not notice Victoria. Oh man, Yui goes down as well. 2v4 for the Lakers. Oh, get last the play out. Yeah, yeah. Rather, down. rather unfortunate close oh, plant situation the there. Holy Moses Malone, this is this is intense. We're going to triple OT. Oh my goodness, man. Spike the <laughs> Switching sides. Match point. 
They're usually distracted once I reveal them. Make sure to take advantage. These have been two very long games here, Ben. Yeah, two very long games, and honestly, this is gonna start to look like a Counter Strike score. Let's go here. Seriously. Sixteen, fourteen, and incoming. Holy cow! But I think that the Lakers have what it takes to pull it off. I mean, eventually yeah. we'll just start to wear down the rollers. Hopefully, we're gonna get in their heads. Yes. Yes. Do so, some, do some, do something kooky. Yep, and Something unfortunately, mean. there's not really much to say. Both sides were exactly even. Both teams got six and six. Sadie huh? cannot lose her life here. Sadie's in such a tenuous position. It'd be yes. so bad if she went down here. She has no escapability factor on this agent. Yep. Oh, but the snake bite goes wide. They don't actually know about Sadie. Nobody spots her out. The trigger, trigger discipline's insane. Does get oh. one pick. Knows about oh, Cypher. Oh. Dizzy goes out, just doesn't leave, get leave, anybody. Just leave, just leave. 4v4 4 now 4 as UA unfortunately gets taken. And Cypher, power is very low on the Cypher here. Yes. So power is still alive, but is very, very low. Rest in peace, Wingman. Thank you for your sacrifice once again. All right, it's quiet on the set here. As mm -hmm. I don't know that Sadie knows that. Oh, but power, so power is in such a powerful position, but he whiffs. And he gets taken whip. down. <laughs> Huge pick from Sid. That is absolutely massive for the Lakers here. One enemy so going three out one here. situation One. is Reyna left standing screens. behind screens. Does reload and gets the huge Toria. round from Toria. Huge round from everybody. Thank you, Power, for that <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah, literally. You <laughs> on both Sadie and Sid Rush there. Ready. The round. So, so wow. thank you. So you are an honorary Laker. <laughs> Triple overtime. <laughs> Overtime. And then this is exactly Switching where we sides. take it. Oh my goodness. Overtime. We're in their head now. Now power's like, oh we man, do. I, I whiffed that, man. You know, that's, that's right two there. rounds in a row that power hasn't flanked in two, like, two defense yes. rounds, and, or attack rounds, and they just I'm haven't out. won. I'm not coming. Oh man. We're going to go look inside the LEC real quick to see what your Lakers are looking like. Maybe a little, yeah, a little tired, a little restless here. They do Two look a little bit tired, games. which I is mean, which is okay. A thirteen eleven and then a triple overtime game. Oh my goodness! This yeah, is the I will admit, opposite. triple triple overtime does go very crazy. And what are you thinking about in this triple overtime? What do you think our win con is here? Oh man, I think what what we really have to do to pull out this win mm -hmm. condition right is focus on somebody's ultimate ability. That's right. Who we do you think we should focus on? Sadie. I mm -hmm. think Sadie's thrash is absolutely perfect for clearing out a site instantly, right? I mean, we, she got it at the end of the round there. Yeah. I mean, but it didn't do anything because it was in the round. Yeah. Um, so if we focus those ultimate orbs, get her the plant, and then hopefully she gets one pick, right? Yeah. I think we're golden. Uh, the thing we really need to focus on, though, is making sure that we're not peaking disadvantageous angles, right, on attack and defense. Yeah. Like, getting losing our lives early on either round is it's, just so terrible. It's, it's so disadvantageous for yes. us. I think that what we need to be doing is we need to be cross-mapping here. Yep. Right there. Um, like default. Yep. I do believe that our Lakers are on attack, so what we need to be doing, I think that... If we, whatever site we want to end on, we start on the, the other side. Yep. So here we start on A site, and then I think we get the orb to the gecko, and then we rotate on over to the B site to grab that orb. And then we have a little bit of space to play with, because yep. then we're only one off, and Wingman can plant the spike. Exactly. You're taking some map results. You're getting their head. You're not going to know where you're at, right? Mm -hmm. I think if the Lakers win this attack, they're going to win the whole thing. Their defense I think so. Been solid. We will see, though. There will be a paranoia that will hit the Reyna in... Oh, on, but up on range. I don't think that Slim oh, no. even considers this possibility. Is no. not cleared by the bomb, buddy. Oh, Slim's going to go down. Oh, oh, no. Sid, sorry. Oh, so unfortunate. Yeah, Slim was raised from last game. So unfortunate, but the Lakers are playing some ratty angles here. Might be able to get a refresh. I'm kind of, it's kind of remarkable that they were able to just get onto the site like that. Yeah, nobody was playing on site. Everybody in heaven. Royal Wall comes out. Instantly sprayed down. You know, Slim is actually here in a very strong position. Gets Will one get one. Instantly out traded out. Toria does get. Ooh, it's all on Gecko here. One, 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 one for UA. She has the health advantage. Brimstone is half HP. Has the Spike health is not really planted for her. Well, She's it kind of it. is. It's gonna get half. Oh! oh he's UA! Huge round from UA oh there. Absolutely goodness. massive, and now. Lakers take the attack. Please, Switching Louis. Sides. Holy cow. Please, Match Louis. Point. We got this. <laughs> Louis the Laker, if put your gloves on us right now. Those follow. big gloves that you have on. That's put right. them over our game. That's right. We could do this. We could do this. Yep. We need Philly to bless this game for yes. us right now. F at Philly GB Prez. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Please Shout out to Philly luck. for all the support that she provides everybody. Exactly.
first female president of our university as well. That's right, and she's doing a fantastic job. Absolutely. We love Philly. Shout out, Philly. Once again, same kind of agent placements for uh, the Lakers here, but the Rollers are towards four on A and one mid. Yeah. Maybe three? Two mid. Three, three yep, A, three two, two mid. mid. Always hard to tell with those tiny little icons. That's right. And it really looks like they're kind of just waiting up. They're really respecting that uh, Brimstone, or yes. the Omen Smoke. Yes. From UA. I mean, Toria has had a ton of success <laughs> spraying through uh, Viper Walls and Spokes here. So yeah. they, they definitely have to. They're scared. Them. And they will looks like they're to going address. to take this A site without incident here. Power oh. is spotted out. Does That's take a little, little bit of chip damage. Spike planted. We'll see the Cypher trip and get it. Yep. The bomb is already down. It's a 5v5 retake right. situation here for your Lakers. Sadie's got to be oh, aware. Oh, does sling out power? Kill. I think we're in power's head. I think so, too. He, he has a 5v4 situation. One person is holding hell, I think. So we do need to be careful. And Dizzy does Sadie see it. Clears. Sadie clears. But Sadie goes down to a refrag. One is on screens and two are back sight and corner. Will the Lakers get a swing out? One. There's one. 1v3. Or 2v3. One so enemy remaining. You want to get UA. No. no. So close for UA. 20, 40 HP maybe left. 40 HP left. Switching sides. Overtime. Quadruple, overtime. Quadruple OT coming out here. Honestly, what a crazy game. Insane. Insane. Holy cow. Holy cow. What a game this has been for both sides. It's been an absolutely fantastic game. This is a total banger. I'm so glad that I'm here to cast for this. Round 31. That's right. Round 31. How often do you see that? I need a cough drop. <laughs> Lakers, right. once again, mid-presence. Take that complete mid-control. Condition this team just like they've been doing the whole game to not have any mid-control whatsoever. Yes. <sighs> what a series. Yep. They are, importantly, they are playing very, very passively here. I think that's kind of what you need to do. Not let them know what your plan is here. I agree. I agree completely. We're gonna fall off mid here. There's three towards B right now. Nobody playing A or mid here for the rollers. Two A. Yeah, and we do have two of our Lakers in the A main area. Once again, nobody is on A. They're in heaven. Yeah, you know what? I think honestly, the best bet for us here would be to send two through vents, maybe three through vents. They're rotating. Rollers are rotating out of A. They heaven. are. They're they're getting scared. Oh, wait, maybe re-aggressing, re peaking a little bit. They're just bit. playing really, really passively. Nobody wants to lose this round, right? And go down. 30 seconds stage. left. I know, in Quadra OT. Oh my god. You really want to go to Quinta OT? I don't think anybody playing wants to go to Quinta. Holy. Big from Toria here, but nobody's going to rotate through mid. But we do, we do have Toria on this huge flank. Three vents. And every and single round has been like basically a 5v5 retake. Yeah, it's it, the teams respect each other. Yes. It's very obvious that both teams respect each other. They would rather play a retake than lose a life. Oh, yeah. Right? This could be huge. Oh, Toria is on oh, but, but they instantly know. get sussed out. It's so unfortunate. 4v4 here now. 3v3 sitting to one enemy remaining. One trade's coming out. I have no idea what happened. The Reyna is free. Last play together. Standing. 1v1 situation. Reyna gets the heal. Spike is planted, I believe, for Gecko. He misses the flash. Oh no! So close. If you play time a little bit longer, it's clutch. Oh no! You should stop trying. Very, very close. Oh no! Switching sides. Match point. And here we are, sixteen fifteen. Round ten million. <laughs> Holy All right, WinCon here for this overtime. Once again, let's get somebody's ult. I agree. We haven't seen an ult from either side. We need to be cross mapping. Like I've been saying this whole series, we need to be cross mapping. Need to blow something up. Okay, maybe the maybe the both the teams will take it easy on our uh, on our ghost boxes for us tonight and reschedule the last map. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Rollers are towards B. Summon mid. Not sure where they want to take presence quite yet. 
so silent. Every round starts this way. It's always so quiet. Both and then teams, all of a sudden, like, they're just walking out B main here. Very, very little contesting going on here. We do have kind of a more forward position from Slim and Sid here. Yep, once again. Vibe on the site. Paranoia comes out, does get onto the Reyna. Big, big picks from UA and Slim. Now, he traded out by power. Slim goes down to one burn brain. Oh and my gosh, the GB wins again. It's yeah. going to go to another overtime. Another overtime. Switching sides. Holy overtime. cow. Overtime. Which overtime is this? I've lost count. Oh my god, six or seven, I think. Like four, five. 10. Holy Moses. 16 to 16 here. Going into another overtime. These teams are so evenly matched. This is this is insane. I mean, this is just legitimately the exact we, opposite. The Grand Valley Lakers though. must have been in the Rollers' nightmare for the past two weeks because I think so. they that's have all prepared. Been thinking about I, I, that's what I'm thinking. It's I think maybe they canceled chaos. their match last week to prepare for this one. Uh, they could have. They really could have. They have boasters on the fanatic IG yelling for them now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on. Lakers a little bit more presence. More now contact. run to the other side of the map, Gecko, and do, do, get do, that do, alt do. point. No, throw your wingman through there first, though. Get him the instant rotate, right? That's true. <laughs> Pull him. Pull him like silly putty. That's what we're saying. Screen down. There is one roller actually playing towards the outside this time. We are the last pack from Sid. Got to clear the outside of that box. No one's there, but gets decayed. Sid gets taken out. Plant does come out. Viper is still on site. Ah. One goes down for the rollers, though. It's a 4v4. Heal coming from Sadie. UA's, UA's lower, 10. This is going to be a tough situation for the Lakers oh, here. Have the bomb. Must... The bomb is not, not planted. They have to regress for it. Slim knows Slim there's one here. Slim just needs to hold this angle, and then she'll be absolutely golden. Going to get cr oh, no, the, the timing. timing. Oh my god! Oh, it's like whoever's on defense. <laughs> Tori is absolutely coming up huge this round. They're trying left. to equalize this, trying to put the whole team on her back this round and just win it out. Two have and only one on site. Yep, but Viper's in such a strong position. 20 seconds left on the clock. If you can get the kill on this Viper, though, mm -hmm. you have the ability to plant the bomb. Heal in five. I think that's going to go over to UA. 15 seconds. They might, that might be what they're waiting for. Yep, here we go. Now they'll start to 10 aggress. seconds left to. on the clock. 10 seconds left. See the gun barrel. See the gun barrel from the Viper. I have that oh. player standing. Oh, UA gets one. Spike down. UA gets two. One enemy Won't have remaining. time, though. Oh, my goodness gracious. Round what a close game here coming out from the Lakers. We're going into now. Round 34. Switching sides. Who needs, who needs the ending of a game? We who, can do, This could just go on forever. Who needs sleep? Honestly. Yeah. Who needs anything at this point? Mm hmm. Holy Good cow. Good thing we do not have a clock right in front of us. We cannot see what time it is. Yes. <laughs> Thank, our production team just mentioned to us that it is 922. Two and a half hours for two games. That oh, is right. Not ready. This I'm is ready. absolutely fantastic Valorant that we're watching. This is like VCT level right here. This is, yes. This is like VCT, like champions, final round of playoffs. That's right. Th both teams know that this is it. This is the game. <laughs> Sage slow comes out. Rollers are once again towards B. This is, this is just like every round is the same. I feel like I'm calling the same round over and over again <laughs> for the last hour. <laughs> that is how I feel because it's always so quiet and that everybody. But this could be a huge paint shells down. here. Sid gets one. Sid, Sid gets one. Traded out by Bird Brain. Everybody go ahead. They can't select which target. And this could be it. 3v4 for the Lakers. Yes, but important that Toria is still alive. And Toria has been absolutely crucial in some of these overtime rounds. Sadie on as well. UA goes down. 2v4. This could be it. It all comes down to this. Clear hell. Sadie gets one. one Toria gets one. Oh, my God. It's happening again. Oh, my God. It's happening again. <laughs> it's happening again. It's deja vu. Over and over <laughs> and over again. Oh, my God. This is absolutely... This, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say besides this. I think we can say that because we've been casting the same round. It's the same thing. <laughs> is this like, oh, we'll get a little Switching bit of sides. action from oh, Sadie <laughs> and Toria there? Get, get is this Groundhog Records Day? <laughs> get Guinness World Records in here. <laughs> Longest Does anybody know game. what time this map started in oh, production? Oh, no, a long time ago. A long time ago. 
Holy. All right, the consensus appears to be a long time ago, um, which is something that I could have you on the other told side? you. The longest Valorant game ever, I hear, is 52. Well, I sincerely hope not because we are at 35 right now. We are 18 more <laughs> rounds away from that, but seeming as how this game is Nine more played, overtime. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen. And that would be a great honor for us. If that happens, I will not be attending class tomorrow. I will be sleeping all day. Okay, first pick. Kobo Kobo gets the pick on to Sadie. What the damage? Ares Pro does get forced off this angle. This is different. Lakers came from mid. Yeah, this is exactly what they should have been doing. They've had full control over this this whole time. Again, nobody on the A site. Sid has complete control, and the spike does go down. Koblu does get the pick on Atoria. Huge loss for the Vence, Lakers. Vents, Vents, coming up, Vents. They can't hear you, buddy. I believe that they can. This is going to be another timing oh, situation. Oh, huge. Oh, another one. Run. Get around the corner. Oh, Go slim goes down. Okay, UA, UA huge pick huge from UA. 2v2 situation. We 2v3. do have a 2v3 situation. You are correct. My bad. They do have a, a decent post plant situation. They are both holding in the corner. We do see the Empress come out for Kobe. Huge shot. One pick from UA. Oh. 1v2 situation. Sid does get one oh and goes God. down to Kobe. It is the same. Every time. Oh my goodness. 18 to 17 here going into <laughs> the second sides. half of overtime Round number 36. 18. Round 36. Round 36. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's only supposed to be 26 rounds in a game. So just thought I should <laughs> put that out there. Ooh. Yeah. And let's not forget that this is off of the back of two six to six halves for both teams. Dude, this game has been the most even game I've ever watched. Uh, this is like, the, you know, like the the meme of Sisyphus pushing the boulder up the mountain. This is what this is. That's exactly what this the is. Every time we gain an inch, we fall back. Lots of contact mid. <sighs> Holy cow! I think that the rollers have an aversion to mid. Like they just sit there for a second and leave. <laughs> Except for power. Yeah, that's true. He just lurks. But power hasn't lurked in a minute. That's very true. And honestly, that might be I, what's keeping I the Lakers since, alive. I think since regulation. Holy cow. And what was that, like 30 rounds ago at this point? Yeah, pretty, I mean, it's <laughs> over ha like about half of this game is overtime. Roller's coming through on B-Site. Utah coming out. Stims. Sid gets one. Sid, one for one trade, and the, the pick goes on to power here for Sid. All right, so it's a two or it's a four v four. Lakers need to play in pairs. That's what they're so good at. So Spike planted. Go I believe that Bombadi goes off and does do a little bit of damage. Maybe I do see that Koblu is at about sixty percent HP there. Koblu is sitting closer Very on left. the left. Is cleared. Oh, in the, the it almost trust. gets body blocked. The trust from the teammate in UA. Oh, this is a huge paint shells into the back of sight here. Oh, oh there. Gets the ball. They didn't even realize that both of them were down. No, the Lakers survive again. Oh, they survive again. Boom. Showstopper. <laughs> yep. Waits until the round is over to do a little bit of trolling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We do. We don't want after this to go Switching to a round or a map three. Overtime of Lotus. But we would see Clove on Lotus, so hey. Oh, maybe, man. Maybe. Maybe I won't be seeing anything. <laughs> the light is bright. The yeah. light is bright right now. If I am any one of these players, I'm going there. insane. I'm, I'm at this point. It's like I don't even care what the result is. Just no. Like, let's I mean, get to a new map. Definitely, we we obviously still want our Lakers to win this. We yeah. want them to still be able to close this out, even though it is not as much of a stomp as we had hoped. True. Uh, it is still a fantastic series of Valorant. Yes. This is a, an absolute like example of never underestimate your opponent. Right? That's right. You know, we we rolled them a couple weeks ago. It was a couple weeks ago. True. Oh. That's a new team. Going you know, a few up. weeks ago, we had um, a very big Griffin educational stream that we did. Mm. That stream was eight hours long. <laughs> big pick from that. Sid. Instantly, 2v1 okay. or 2v4-1. Four 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 4v3 situation. Oh, hell. There is one in hell. Yep, okay. We still have the man advantage. Instantly traded out 3v2 situation. Tori is in a super powerful position. Might catch up Koblu. Oh, does lose doesn't. the aim duel, and unfortunately, Koblu is playing Reina, so full HP, LOL. <laughs> Pushing out hell. One CT. We do we have, do have thrash. Misses. 
One enemy remaining. Oh no. Here. Last player standing. Nine. Oh my goodness. Yes! Yes! We want an attack! I'm out. We want the attack! Oh my goodness! Switching sides. I will not be saying anything Match about point. who will win this round because I will not be jinxing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cast or curse it. But if, if we have seen a trend, defenses seem to prevail. All right, let's check time. out the scoreboard. We do see that only power is actually sitting below 20 kills this game. That is absolutely amazing. Imagine playing over 30, almost 40 rounds, not having 20 kills. It's because he stopped lurking. I know. That's the only reason he was getting these kills. Yeah. Look at those death counts, too. That's absolutely insane. 34, I think, I saw for Koblu. Oh, my goodness. Koblu was sitting at 40 and 24. Holy cow. Jeez, oh, Pete. It's been such an insane map. If I see Split from now on for the rest of the season, I think I'll just dodge. I think I'm going to dodge. I'm going to feel I'm gonna feel even more deja vu. Maybe a little schizophrenia coming in. <laughs> oh, Sadie. Really unfortunate there. It gets caught in the timing there with the uh, Dizzy out. Yes. Uh, it's super, super unfortunate. We do see power going into heaven here. Will get cleared out by Toria. It's just going to come down to an aim duel. This is one of the first rounds we've Spike seen planted. that in a 5v5 on this site after the bomb's gone down. Power. They, have to be, they have to be really careful of power there. Angle. They're not clearing power. And it looks I like we're going exactly to another overtime, my friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even after we won the attack. <laughs> At what point do you say, let's just do it another time? Well, they're already halfway through this. They're not going to, like, chrono break this. Aries Pro 89 is holding this site down pretty well. Player standing. It's 1v4. It's one the match would have to happen. Don't think it will. It's another one. Go. Goes down. Is it even padding the stats at this point when everybody's over 20? I don't think so. I don't think there's Switching any stats sides. to be padded. Overtime. And here we are into yet another overtime. Here we are. We're, we're actually about to hit round 40? We're about to hit round 40. Oh, my God. I've never even seen this in one of my own games. It is looking pretty egregiously wrong. Yes. But we are always here to support our Lakers. Yes. Anchor up. Anchor up. Yeah, yeah, shout out to every single one of these players on the server for enduring this insanely crash. long, grueling game. Honestly, they have amazing oh, mentals yeah. to still be in it after 38 That's rounds or 39 rounds or something. I wouldn't. That is true. <laughs> big pick, big pick. Oh, it's down to the bridge zone. To help power gets three, power gets two kills. Beat. Instantly taken back by Slim. It is a man disadvantage for the Lakers here. The two v three situation. Slim will plant the spike. Snake bite will go down. Toria is kind of offsite, but will reinforce the main. We see two uh, of the rollers in middle Poison's through off. heaven and one in spawn. Koblu will be the one, or will be one of the ones coming from heaven with bird's brain. And Ares Pro 89 from main. We do have slow orbs here for Last Toria. Standing. No. Toria, we need the, the bomb is not quite planted for Toria here, and we move to round 40? Round 40. Only 14 rounds away, right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Switching sides. Match point. This is insane. There's no other way to describe this. Uh huh. This this ra this uh, round right here is for all of the marbles. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For all of the marbles. Then we go to map Ooh. three if the rollers win, which is Lotus, the best map in the game. Paranoia take it, but you see here that the um, the Lakers are taking space in B main. The entire Rollers team is actually in lower mid here, so they will be caught if they do try to aggress farther. Sid, Sid does get the pick onto Koblu. That is a huge, massive pick, because yes. Koblu, remember, has like 47 to 49 kills at this point. You leave now. Yeah, you, you just dip. You, you got what you came for. Different. You leave. Yep, you got what you came for. You got that man advantage, which is exactly what we need in this round. This is exactly what I've been saying. There needs to be more space taken. Yep. More space taken, more advantageous peaks. I don't even know if Sadie peaks this, honestly. 
Maybe even just sitting somewhere. Sitting in hell would yeah. be fine. One and, and done. That might be what she's doing. She's going to pull back the site. She hears the cypher trip. She knows that they're going to start coming. The smokes come down. She's the only one even near the A site. Gecko Molly will come out. Try to stall them a little Dizzy bit. Back as well. Molly in an unrecoverable position. Man comes out. UA can't get the spray. It's all going downhill. 3v3. 3v4. 3v4. Power is low. The Lakers need to pull something absolutely left. magical out of their hat Spike of tricks planted. here in order to win this and prevent us from going to that third decider map. I think the third map might have already been over by now. Um, if we, <laughs> if we, if we would have, uh, pretty, pretty close. We would have lost 13-11. Oh, nobody checks power, power here, power on his flanking. Exterminate. 1v3 situation for Toria. Toria has what it takes to take, to deal with this, but it's just so hard. One enemy lower. Enemy does get the power's low as well. Power is super low. Not planted low. for him. Not planted for him. I will not die here. Toria needs to half this. Not Wait, just stick him. it. Whoa, it swings out and loses the game! Attackers win. Oh. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> what a game. I I don't even know what to say at this point, guys. <sighs> um I I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. It's been uh, just just a grueling match for all of us here, viewers, players, casters, producers. We shall see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if the players will say, hey, postpone. I'm not sure if we'll go for another one. We'll see in five minutes. This, yeah, this is something. <laughs>
Hello, everybody. Hi, Welcome guys. back for map three of this amazing, not long, not arduous, not grueling series of Valorant here. No, it was actually two super short maps. <laughs> um, there was no... Um, uh, it was two 13 O's. Octuple. Actually, three 13 O's, really, because yeah. we played so many... Yeah. We played 40 rounds last yeah, game. this was actually a best of five, or at least that's what it feels like. Somebody's uh, PC crashed, so we are going nice. to take some time. Nice. Another tech pause. Um, we were into the agent select I'll notice, but no more. I hope we see Clove. I hope uh, so something make it make it interesting. I hope somebody runs five duelists and just runs it down every round. That would be a strategy, I think. Yeah, it's a strategy certainly. Um, the it, strategy they my could. Ranked teammates play. Yeah, that's it, it's actually how you play. <laughs> um, Only when I'm a little irritated. Yeah, you want to? Are we queuing after this? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm going. To, I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> <laughs> are they back? Producer. Okay. Uh, so not quite back yet. Was it? A, I don't know if it was a Laker PC or a, a Roller PC here it, that crashed. I mean, you know, I not, mean, not one of our Laker PCs sponsored yeah, by. Yeah, it was a Roller PC. Yeah, they couldn't handle the 40 rounds. You know, it honestly, they're just not sponsored by Alienware. No, exactly. Shout out to Alienware. Shout out to Alienware and Dell. And Herman Miller for the chairs that we have. That's true. IC. You know Herman Miller is actually a Grand Rapids company? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's pretty sick. You know Grand Rapids is Furniture City, USA. It is. Best city ever. It's it's one of them, yeah. If, if the houses weren't so expensive here, then I'd live here forever. Big city feel with low city kind of infrastructure, I guess, right? I mean, the traffic's <laughs> not terrible. The traffic's <laughs> not terrible, but you get the big city feel. You do. You have a lot of amenities here. And, sure. I mean, you have everything you could possibly need here in Grand yeah. Rapids. Especially Grand Valley. So, come... To Grand Valley State University, gvsu.edu. Laker up. Laker up. And Anchor we're up. Throw you quick to a little Laker advertisement. Now more than ever, the world needs thinkers, doers, and problem solvers. At GVSU, we're committed to preparing students for whatever comes next. We provide the knowledge, skills, and experience you need to take advantage of a lifetime of opportunities. And a typical Grand Valley grad earns more than twice as much as a person with only a high school diploma. Be ready for whatever's next. Choose Grand Valley State University. All right, I do hear. Anchor up. Yes, anchor up. I do hear game audio. I think we are about to be back into. I think we're an agent select, select again. I think so. I do um, hear some Yep, here we go. All right, Lotus instantly locking. Okay, cool. We see Breach. Breach is interesting. We see a uh, pretty standard team comp here from the Lakers. Yes. Um, we will switch around. It does appear that we are a little swapped right Tori now. Tori is playing the Gecko now off the stage. Sid's flexing over to Killjoy. Slid mm -hmm. back on the raise. Yeah, and, yep. and Grand Valley is on starting on defense here. This is huge, huge, huge. We don't really see any roll swaps from the rollers, though. Honestly, I'm glad to see Slim back on Raze. Yeah, she played it well the first map. That's right. Sid did Three too. hours ago. Yes, literally. Literally, back back yesterday, <laughs> Slim played yeah. a great Raze. Uh, all right. Just waiting on uh, Sadie and Sid here to, to officially lock in. lock in. You know, I was really hoping to see some Clove here, but they just don't want to run it yet, which I understand. You know, new agent. Yeah, you know, they're, they're not an agent that can be really played by themselves. Exactly. Yep. We got a with that decay grenade they have. You got to couple that Uto with somebody else, like a raise or. Well, or a and Gecko. you need another controller, really. Yeah. The smoke's only last like 12 seconds. Truth. Truth. You could have run it in the in the rollers comp though. They have two controllers already. Yep. Uh, I uh, kind of would have liked to see that. I don't really care for Vipes here. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting choice. Yep. And then we see this similar comp, Koblu on Reyna, probably only agent. <laughs> um, Aries Pro 89 here out on the raise again. Power on Cypher. Nothing to write home about. Miso Stew back on state. I'm pretty sure it's the same comp. It's the same comp as the other two games, yep. I think. Uh huh. It doesn't matter what map, they're uh, just going to pick it. I respect the consistency. We're back on Georgia again. Um, Maybe that gives us an advantage. Where is Rollers located? I don't know. Actually, be interesting to hear. 
So um, we will see exactly uh, what this game cooks up for us with these amazing team comps. We do see Tori on the Gecko. I think that is a point that you had mentioned yes. a couple hours ago. Yes, and Sadie on the Omen. Yes, and we do see Sadie on the Omen. And as an Omen enjoyer myself, I'm very excited to see how Sadie plays Omen. I've seen her play that on the stream, and I have liked what I have seen. Yes. So it'll be really interesting. And also UA on that Breach. Yes. You don't see Breach very often anymore. There's a lot of other initiators. Uh, but I think that Breach still does his job very well. Very strong. His flashes sure. are impossible to dodge. Yes. So impossible. we have a we have a pretty strong comp here. I'm not sure how I feel about the Killjoy, um, but I trust the comps that they've cooked. Yeah. Somebody's PC must have crashed again because this is a remarkably long loading screen. Toaster. <laughs> Toaster. KO in here? Question mark. Yep. So for those of you who are not. Uh, Valorant enjoyers, or you are watching your children play, KO is an agent that is a robot that shuts down other agents' abilities. So it's essentially they're just playing with guns. And when and KO kills another KO, he says toaster. Yep, and unfortunately we don't see KO here, but we were just talking about the fun voice line that KO has when KO kills KO. I'm not sure still what's kind of going on. Let's, get a, let's cook, take a look at the LEC cam. All right, that looks like, uh, honestly, it looks like everybody's tired. You yeah. see, uh, in the other side, across from Toria there, we saw Alu was there before, and they played an entire game and are gone now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I heard a classic. I think that we're Red starting about to be into this game. This is a wonderful map three here on Lotus. What are you hoping to see here from the Lakers on defense? What kind of distribution are you looking for? Uh, probably a, uh, maybe a 2-1-2, two -two, honestly, but just like UA kind of fronts to instantly kind of play. Most teams okay, kind of play match round. timer is paused. Oh, no. Play Someone got kicked. Oh, my gosh. Once again, I just want to take a second to thank Alienware and Grand Valley State University for, provi for providing our teams the top-of-the-line hardware <laughs> um, so that this does not happen to us. Yes. We are very fortunate to have such a supportive university. Anchor up. I think you guys taking an anger out right now. Seeing as the entire place has emptied out at this point on your Wednesday evening. Yes. Soon to be Thursday. Yes. Soon it. to be Thursday. Oh. oh. Heard something. Somebody disconnected from the mouse. UA is still knifing that wall. Let's let's change to another agent over there. Whoever disconnected. <laughs> oh, geez. I think the roller is doing this on purpose. Yeah. Honestly. I hear chatting. Timer is still paused, according to our wonderful production crew. Shout out to them for being here. Well, and we are here. going to be okay. back to live. All right. <coughs> Match time is moving. We're ready to go. UA is looking to concuss a first, but looks like the rollers will hit C here. We're still set up for the KJ2. Here we go. Map three. About to start. Satchel out. <laughs> Classic opener here for the Lakers. But not going to catch anybody out. We do see that Power is doing his thing, lurking towards mid. Yes. Yeah. And we do see four towards the C site. Does take out Killjoy's bot. Nothing like that yet. Here we go. As I see. Long grenade out. Killjoy does yeah. fall off the site. UA does use the aftershock here. Spike you planted. know, what I just thought about is when Breach gets access to that Rolling Thunder, that's going to be a very impactful tool, especially for, I guess, all three sites. Yeah. All three sites are going to be completely covered by that ult, so we'll yep. see if that's going to be a win for certain rounds. We do see Sadie and Slim out here, very far away from the site on this retake. Uh, they, they are going to check close right, but not going to clear with intent. Power is going to get two, and then this pistol round is just over. 
Beautiful hold from the there. rollers. Corya on the get go is kind of hard to see. But EA has to break this wall if you can't do anything. And I mean, it's, it's a piss around, you might as well die. At least I didn't strike that. Yeah, doesn't count against your stats. Alright, UA gets one on the Viper. That's bad, it's quite. Yep, well played from the Lakers to get at least one on that pistol. Not going to make it completely free for the Rollers. And now we're going to move into round two with the Rollers having an obvious encounter advantage. And gun advantage. Well, yes, right? because they have yeah, econ, econ advantage. Uh -huh. Recalling my bot. Uh, you know, uh, site distribution here. So this again, going C. Maybe be another C hit here. Maybe a little bit more spread out this time. I'd like to see five shorties. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> see it again. Power is lurking. Back to his roots. As that is the thing he succeeded on the most. Anything on foot. Dizzy's up! Dizzy has targets. Oh, last oh, player just standing. Just destroy him here. Tori last live. We just classic and winning here. Yep. All the Lakers do fall down. It's uh, unfortunate here. I mean, they get the same ball by like 400 creds, right? Like, <laughs> probably pretty unnecessary there. Uh, and a 5v1, that pistol gets pretty scary. Yeah. It haunts my nightmares. All right. The time. Round three, the Lakers do have a gun now. They do have five guns, hopefully. Yes. Should be a full five. Full yes. It is going to be a gun round with an econ advantage for the Lakers, although it is important to note that the Rollers did not lose anybody that round. No, they did not. So they have full econ and they're sitting pretty. Time out. Yes. Quick peeks now. Honestly, they probably should go Placing once swan grenade. again with that close call. Placing swan grenade. I agree. I completely agree. Or even B would be fine for them to push, but it does look like they're going to hang heavy towards the C side of the map. It does look like Power is just in. doing his thing. Somebody unplug his PC. Don't let him look like this anymore. Don't let him do it. See confrontation and here. This horse is really just fall off back. Waterfall. Yeah, the Lakers completely out. concede side control, which is fine. They're going to wait for the rest of their team so they can play on this. Yep. Power is starting to lurk over Spike towards these, this site here. He is not going to go into the B site. So it is just going to be a normal hold. It's going to be a three-man retake from Heaven. We do have the Omen Paranoia that does not actually end up coming out. Uh, Omen Paranoia could take away the vision of all the players in the below. Slim does go down. Toria instantly trades back Harry's Pro. Iso Toria. Two more for the Lakers. Power. One enemy remaining. Situation. The only one left and gets traded out by UA. Huge nice round from shots. the Lakers. Good, good, good right first right. Yes. And I'll tell you what, it's looking just like the other two games. <laughs> Deja vu again. At least we get to look at a different map. At least, That's you true. know, for all of Lotus's faults, at least it is visually, it, it's, it's visually that, appealing. It's, it's like a little jungle, right? It yeah. Looks nice. It looks nice. Shout out to Summoner's Rift, yes. League of Legends. That looks very pretty. Very pretty. Does look like the uh, rollers will be kind of towards A slash B. No, maybe they're just they're just kind of chilling and spawn. Yeah. Uh, around. They do want to get. They do want to care for the set piece of utility that pretty much every team throws at the start of the round. I almost oh, wonder shot. if it's not worth throwing the paint shells out right away. Um, just waiting for. Yeah, waiting waiting maybe five seconds. Yeah. Because that that's anything. such a common kind of thing that teams do now. Yeah, rollers are C again. Sid has a classic. Yeah, the Lakers um, don't really have guns. So we're we're burning a lot of our UA utility here to, in order to hold them back. Breach is going to use the second flash, and it is my understanding that those flashes do not regenerate. No, no, they do not. No flashes in this game regenerate anymore after the sky nerfs a few patches ago. Flash out. Nice. Huge first pick from UA. We do have another Nano Swarm. Does not actually go for the main. UA does get another one. Instantly traded out by Miso Stew. They, the site control out. is seated to the rollers. If I'm Sid here, I try to maybe make some presence for that right the water. Yeah, I completely agree with you. This classic is not going to get you very far. No. He oh, does actually get change. the dink onto Sage. The Sage is quite low. Miso Stew is very low here. 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. 
here. And the Lakers somehow managed to win that round. Yes. Not somehow. It's not surprising. They did have two rifles, but they only had two rifles. That is a huge round for our Lakers to win here today. We call that the Ben and Evans rookie round. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, I wish I would have seen Deadlock in this comp. Best agent in the game. <laughs> Anything a little bit different would have been nice, right? Yes, sir. I think we finally might see a different site get hit here. You know, B is such a hard one to take. It is, honestly. You um, have to worry about getting back to me. Although, you know what? It does provide a really quick rotate to C through that door and mount. Yep. Um, but, you know, it, it, the, the site itself is just so easily, like, you can just use a Killjoy locked out, and the entire site is just gone. It's it's toasted. Yeah, you got power here lurking C. The red team is also a Yeah. Does, does not deny the plan here from Sadie. Does get one, but instantly traded out by that three stone Molly. Does not actually hit anybody, but the Viper is spotted going one for One enemy spawn. remaining. Nice trade from Tori. Oh, a huge yeah. round from the Lakers. That's absolutely huge for the Lakers to win. The Rollers do get the spike planted and do get two, but yes, the do. round is one Another for our Lakers. As the whole B site was taken. They must have gotten word that the Kirk off there was too close. I think so. I think so. You might find the CNA hit here from the rollers, as most of your agents from them are coming over. They are here towards A main, so we finally might get some uh, get some utility usage out of the out of the raised paint shells here, as they've been thrown out every round. They might wait for it though. The rollers are keen to understanding, but they do use that. that utility, right? Yes, and it is like I said, it's a very common piece of utility. That's honestly why I mentioned that deadlock because if yeah. you can get that net down, that makes everybody crouch. True. It's just it's 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 toasted. And they're held there, man. Yes, it's yeah. it's it's better than a slow orb. Very true. Honestly, that's the one situation that agent's viable in. The leer going straight at the floor is a good strategy here. They're, the enemies are out onto the, the half wall, but the, they do get two. It is a three v three situation. Although the rollers do have resurrection here, and that will be brought out here. Very strong piece of utility. It is a four v three situation now for the rollers. The Rolling Thunder does come out. It will stun them. Will they be able to swing off it and get no, one? Not, my the Sadie comes through the first close right. The Raina is very close. Last player standing. Is two. One enemy remaining. Oh, so close. Kobu coming out with their patented Raina. They must be a Counter-Strike player. Maybe, honestly. It's a very easy utility there. Well, honestly, super close round. Sadie did get three kills there. Yes, absolutely crazy round here for everybody. Once again, we are tied up 3-3. Yes. Looks like the rollers are split here. Yeah, and, and honestly, I think playing default here is the best oh, action. Um, okay, so we actually do hold the paint shells this round. We only invest the... The Dizzy, which can just be picked up. Yep. And also a blast pack. Yep. Just to get up to rubble there quickly. Mm-hmm. Rollers are just kind of hanging. They're, they're about to explode through this. When the smoke, when the omen smoke falls, which it has, they're about to just flash through this with the the leer. Now comes paint shells. The paint shells is actually going to be huge here. Oh, Maybe so huge damage. Ah. It does a little bit, but not really anything impactful. Yep. Uh, we do have quite a bit of damage on the brimstone. Brimstone's maybe hit 40. Rollers coming through. I know exactly where. Off coming back. And it will be Off coming back. I mean, maybe you just save here. Yeah, I agree. I think that this is definitely a safe call here for our Lakers, but they're actually just going to go for it. Uh, I'm wondering if they're tilted. Yeah, probably. Probably a little bit. I would be at this point. Yep, because now our Lakers are both trapped here. They are both trapped, and they're, they're no one's heaven. They, they're one, yeah, they've completely walked past the one Time heaven. Out. There is a snowball's chance of winning. Last the round player standing. And instantly trade out power and Kobu combined. Flawless round for the rollers here, and like I said, this is starting to look pretty similar to our last couple of games. Yes, Amigo.
once again, deja vu. Yes, that's right. Deja vu indeed. <laughs> the roller is on up one round. Five, four, or four to three, I should say. Lakers look to take it back. Hopefully, they could win five rounds in a row. And get to eight four. That'd be kind of cool. Placing alarm bomb. It would be fantastic. Placing swamp grenade. If, you know what? If we could just Recalling close my bot. out this half, four is all I get. 13 4. Alarm bomb out. Close it up. Pretty sure that was a scoreline of one of the rounds, or one of the games. You guys can say. Slim, even though she's on eco, will still fight for rubble here. Yeah, that's an interesting decision. I'm not really sure that we should be peeking long angles, but I trust that Coach Galaxy has run this strat with them, uh, especially against this team. Uh, we only played them a few weeks ago, so yes. we're probably just trying to shake it up a little bit. It's going to be one present towards C site. Will they out? Abs two absolutely the huge showstopper there from Slim. Absolutely stopped the show of this round for the Rollers. And Sid gets another one. pick on the other side of the map onto Power. Lurk. Absolutely huge. You know, Power is so impactful on those Lurks that it's great that he's out of the round now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just... What else? He doesn't have any value anywhere else except for on that Lurk on that Cypher. So the last two Rollers will still attempt to salvage this round. We do see Sadie about to take this aim duel into Ares player. I mean, Welcome to my world. The snake pit does come down. One it's going to make it a really remaining. hard post plant to play. One v three four Spike situation, planted. but the snake, the viper's pit is down. We don't really have any utility to clear this besides the kill by all, and I don't know if we can best it in this situation. Yeah, I think you just try to overpower it. Right? And UA just wins the aim duel straight up against Ares. Ares God. Wins, Ares yeah. Pro. Ares Pro hasn't even used the Ares yet. What is that about? I don't know. How can you use Ares Pro if you don't use the gun? I don't know, man. But this is exactly what we want from the Lakers League. We want them to end this half 8 to 4. Yes. We want them to showcase an absolutely dominant game in this third map. That would showcase the strength of their mental, too. Yep, exactly. This is, I mean, both of these teams deserve a round of applause. Yes, for how long and just stressful these games have been. Nothing better than Valorant. <laughs> Nothing better than Valorant. Uh, Let's make them dance. I love Valorant. Thank you, Riot Games. Thank you for making this amazing game. <laughs> and it is. It is, it is genuinely a good game. Flashback Great. Comes out. Nobody on a. No contact up yet. Rolling nope. Kind of going Nothing. Deep, yeah, I see a lot of you, or a lot of uh, vision comes from B site. No information or no hold on the B site. Then the B site is vacant, and, and then uh, we use the. Spike planted. On to C site, maybe to suss out that lurk. We do get that pick onto power. That's huge from Sid again. Yep. Two rounds in a row, completely neutralize the other sentinel. And this lockdown is exactly what I was talking about. Although, note that they do have the orbital strike. Now that I mean, you gotta try to do that. Koblu is in the Empress Pop. Nope. Is okay. instantly traded out by UA. That's absolutely huge. We know that that round, or that ultimate is very impactful. Don't line up. Don't line up. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Oh, with the classic Sid does have time. Imagine if I died right now. able to get it. Right if that spike's not half, so funny. Yes, absolutely huge, huge from our Lakers. Anchor. Let's go, Lakers. Lakers, let's go. Lakers, let's go. You like a football game. That's right. Mm -hmm. Football game, but make it Valorant. I'd honestly rather be here. Sometimes football games get really cold. Out. Yeah, it's time for the biggest, baddest potty in the world. <laughs> Oh my goodness, your GVSU Game Changers Valorant. That's right, the the GVSU Game Changers Time Valorant up. roster absolutely popping off this map. You know, it, the scoreline is a little bit deceptive. I feel as though the rounds that the Lakers have won, with the exception of the last round, have been very strong showings from them. I would them. agree, yeah. And it does look like we're posturing here towards B site again for the Rollers. They, I think they want to re-hit this since there is no, um, no lockdown. Out. Yeah. yeah. Even though they destroyed it, we kind of like messed up their uh, tempo a little bit. Passing in the same spot. Utility comes out. Spike planted. Do you have Thrash coming through? I think. Yeah. Stop her. Lots of Viper utility. Dizzy has target. Dizzy has target. Very strong post plant position here Sydney. for the rollers. They oh, are on like a much. little bit of a silly oh, last player standing. I think Toria just runs out here, saves the Vandal. Yep. That's exactly what she's gonna do. Very yep. heads up play from her. And once again, we'll be tied. Yep. 
<laughs> Nobody taking an advantage in these games. It's tied every time. That's right. That's right. You know what? It, and honestly, it. I'm just so impressed with both of these teams with how well they've managed to maintain their composure over the course of these um, eight eight games. Yeah. Is what is this like a best of 19 or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and it appears that the Lakers do Sorry. still have enough money to buy. Inside joke. Um, thank you to our production team for showing us this. Uh, we will have one on half shields, but they should not have to be because one of them has enough money to buy their teammates. Yes. A little bit of a miscommunication there, and that's okay. Going on here. Slim's going to once again be a main. Probably blast back towards Rubble, but nobody's going to be there. Looks like a C hit from the rollers. We'll start to work up. Contact. Contact taken here outside of C, you're right. Focused around mound, they will grab that orb. We do use the aftershock as a little bit of a diversionary utility or playing utility. Joy and Viper Molly is going down for either team. That's right, and it does appear that this Leer is going to be their main entry tool as it has been the past two maps. Kolu does get that opening down. Instantly Why traded back by UA on that Bulldog. The Bulldog is a very powerful gun. Tr power trades out UA. 3v4 situation. Uh, the, the Rollers do have the ultimate, and it is a 4v3 situation. 4v3 situation. Out. No res on the field now. We do have the paint shells coming in. We will not connect on anybody. Spike planted. Notice how there has not been a timeout called yet. No, no, there has. They're not. done. They are yes. This is this is a uh, last player standing it at this point. Like. <laughs> yes, and it'll be it'll be sad to see either of these teams go. Honestly, in another world, these teams meet in the finals, and it's Literally. an absolutely banger series. Literally. This is still an absolutely amazing series right here. This does feel like the finals, though, man. This I is, know. This feels like Sentinels Gen G Masters Madrid mm -hmm. level gameplay. And Toria taking another save. I respect this decision to save that Econ with the Vandal. Yep, you kind of got to. We'll uh, it does it appear that power is pushing out here, but they are going to miss each other like ships in the night. Yes, just, they are. just watch on your right, please. Oh, oh I thought th I thought that was I thought the observer <laughs> cam was Last Toria. Last round <laughs> in the half. <laughs> Luckily, it's not. <laughs> Toria lives to see another day. Hoorah. Five to six half. Evan, I'm thinking we're going to see another even half here. I'm thinking we're going to see another round 40, Ben. If we see another round 40, um, well, golly, that would be quite remarkable. I would go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I think I might, too. Because <laughs> what is our luck? Here we go. A hit, maybe. Waiting for you till paint shells don't come out, but the gecko dizzy does. Won't see anybody, but they haven't pushed out of the trick yet. We do have a Marshall for UA. The Grand Valley Lakers are on a little bit of a sussy buy. Sussy, that is a Valorant official term. Is it? Came straight out of the bunker. Right? Grenade! The rollers are sus. <laughs> the rollers are the imposter. True. Really on A, except for just one heaven. Absolutely insane. nothing. Sadie hears this with yeah. that right gun, buddy. Absolutely gonna flex on this Brimstone, who is peeking out with their iPad in their hand. Oh no, oh, paranoid in the hand. Here. Oh, Cobalt oh, no. does get taken down by Sadie. Absolutely huge play by Sadie here, too. 1v4 situation. Sadie Five does have the resurrection, is not gonna oh get a God, chance to use it. Oh my God, Ben. A 6-6 six, six six half. Score. A 6-6 six, six <laughs> half. A 6-6 six, six half. That is absolutely fantastic for the Lakers. That is the best that you can ask for. Dinger. Home run. 6-6 six, six half. Tied up. Switching sides. What a series. What a series. So let's take this brief moment of respite to just remember where we have come so far. How, where, what has happened so far? The Lakers win map one, 11-13. The Lakers, unfortunately, fall in map two, 21 like 21 to 19. to 19, round 40. And then here we are in map three on Lotus, best map in the game. <laughs> round six 12, six. tied 6 to 6. I don't think serious? I've ever heard of a more even game. No. No, it literally couldn't, couldn't be closer. 
I mean, you could not fit a piece of paper through the closeness of these of the series, man. No, you absolutely could not. And honestly, it doesn't even feel like either team is playing poorly. It just feels no. like they're both playing really well. Yep. And they have they're literally just like back and forth. Yeah. You, I don't think anybody's really won two rounds in a row unless it's been a pistol and a bias after. I, I I think you might be correct on that, my friend. Binding! Absolutely insane play from Sadie. I absolutely respect that. Power does get one, but is instantly traded out by Sadie. That's the power of that omen, just being able to teleport onto site past the site for utility. I think that is something that not a lot of people really utilize to its full effect. Oh, the timing on the with Slim there. They're leaving, they're leaving, they're leaving. They killed the flank, they're going A. They killed the flank, they're going A. This is Loki's chart. I mean, if you kiss the rod, you might as well just send it, but nobody's on A site. They will be there by the time the Lakers arrive. Maybe, unless the Lakers continue to go. And you know what? Just go. Run. Nobody's still, they're not there. Bomb, buddy, wow. Not there. The, the roller started to second guess themselves, I guess they did. Planted. Honestly, I thought that bomb buddy was real, like in <laughs> real life. <laughs> You heard it behind you. Oh no. Sadie pushing up. Oh, no. like, like, oh Brimstone is one. Like, Brimstone has 15 HP maybe left. That was a double dink to the head with the classic. Nice play. Great Slim pick on, from Slim onto Cold Blue. Uh, Aries Pro is diffusing one spike. Enemy oh, remaining. Nice. Instantly taken down by Slim. He's in the, he's in one the is on the smoke. Oh nice. my <laughs> goodness gracious. Okay, Did you see how close that came? That was about two seconds away from disaster. I know, man. But honestly, no problem when our Lakers are on the server. They're and here we are. At the person that was in the back of the room has also left. The LEC is clear. They're empty. So just a, just a reminder, I do believe that uh, open play does end at 8, but I was informed that people typically can stay there a little bit later, like that person is utilizing. However, it appears that um, we are at that point because they are gone. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, man. Oh, uh -huh. hello, Breach. You know, Breach is actually oh, quite an attractive man, I think. He's, Scot He's not Scottish. What is it? Swedish. Oh, Swedish. Here we go. No. <laughs> not quite. General. The public schools are still failed. That's not ready. Blinding. This is up top. That would have been the first pistol round that the Lakers have won in a minute. Since, since Bind. <laughs> since Bind. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Uh, nice shots from you, eh? That's and my favorite Spectre. Radiant Christ. Flawless. Flawless round here for the Lakers. He makes it 8-6. Makes it 8-6. Let's go, Lakers. Go blue. Lakers might be gearing up for a C hit here. Probably smart as the Spectres are super close. I agree. I completely agree. I think this is the right call. Either that or B, but you can really just rotate between the two of them because of the door. You're hitting one, you're hitting the other. Not only that, but Waterfall is also a quick rotate. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. I think we get that or That's huge. The showstopper on to Slim there. Absolutely, you can stop the show. Make the end. <laughs> um, it, the show server is just an absolutely insane piece of play. Wingman's gonna come through, clear out the site. Wingman's gonna pull the rotate from the entire enemy team real quick. Yes, he is, just like Split. They already are four over here. Maybe holding out for a rotate from the Lakers a little bit. They are gonna bait with this door, and importantly, Sid is here, but the safe. Uh, Miso Stu was aware of this possibility, and they instantly just kick up all the ability so the Lakers just power through. One person is secret. We have to care for that person's Last secret, player standing. and the Lakers yes, will go down, but that's okay. We, we don't know about the one secret from Slim, I don't think. Oh my god. Oh, but we didn't know about the one secret. And we unfortunately lose the showstopper there. Let all our teammates die just sitting in there. You know what? That's a good point, my friend. Yeah. So now the Lakers will be at a severe econ advantage and yes. weapon advantage because of it. Yes, they will. 8-7 here on map number 3.
Going into this round here, the Lakers are up 8-7. This is a situation that we've seen before, and I do not like where this ending is going. I don't either. I don't think they're going to expect a roll kind of so close on this angle. What we could do here is we could break through Secret with the Breach stun. Or the, well, the Breach flashes, I guess. We could break through Secret. The door's already half broken. Reyna did not heal off that. Reyna is still exceptionally low, but the, there is a Sage on the side of the rollers. We could flash through this. Break through Secret. Instant trade from Sadie. That's an absolutely huge pick onto the Sage. We do have Omen Alt. Omen Alt is... Yes, one is Link. What's up, Wingman? How you doing, gang? Shots coming down. Link we do see Sadie put, taking an aggressive angle. Oh does take out Koblu. Absolutely huge pick. We know no Koblu is like the glue of one on the offense. Oh, last rate under Two heaven. v one situation and Shout one to tap to from to Sid to onto power. Boom 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Nine seven. Nine seven half. This is exactly what we like to see from our Lakers. Yes, yes. Four more. It's a bold move. It's a bold move. Can we get the scoreboard up real quick so we can check on the econ situation? All right, so we see here that the rollers are getting absolutely rolled in the economy department. They are at a negative GDP growth, and the Lakers are only going up. Mr. Political Science Major. Here we go. That's right. left to say, just say an onomatopoeia. Chicka chicka boom boom. Here we go, Lakers are pushing up oh, yeah. one on the side. Monster on the loose! Echo all coming uh, out. He's got to round. You know what? It, it, it's one. Cypher gets Power detained. Gets We're, We're, We're not gonna... We're not gonna die. Here we go. We do see two. Oh, Lakers Yue gets two. Huge, losing. huge, okay. huge spray to the Omen Smoke. You see that Sadie got two assists. That's how you know those two as well. Low server FPS. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite anybody in the butt. One enemy remaining. We do get the pick from Slim onto Koblu. And last, last one is Ares Pro 89. <laughs> he's in Waterfall. And in Waterfall. Don't go Oh, no, waterfall. he's running. What is the point of saving here, there Mr. Isn't. Terminator? There isn't one, because he has classic. And we also minus 200 for that speed fight. Just weakening the economic position She's in the next round. She's still gunning for you. Crash is ready. Does hit the detain nice somehow. And that's, like a, that's like a tour de France. Seriously, dude. He went all the way around. All the way around the country. Gets the Viper. Another round for Lakers time. Uh -huh. All right. Let's check the lat cam real quickly. Quick mental break. <laughs> yeah, there. I wonder there. what Tori is talking about right now. Tori looks like she's absolutely gassed. Yes, just, just, just so exhausted, so exhausted. I don't know what much there is to say here, Ben, that we haven't already said in the first couple of maps here. But uh, the Lakers are kind of cruising right now. The and Lakers. What we'd like to see. You know what? I'm not trying to cast or curse it. No. But, good God. Yes. The Lakers will win. I believe the Lakers can do it. I believe that we will win, Mr. Terminator. I believe that we will win. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. The Lakers have what it takes. We're using good utility. Uh, we're taking good fights. Yeah. I feel like we haven't taken any like 50-50 disadvantageous fights, really. Yeah, and honestly, um, we, we keep finding power. Yes. Like We just yes. keep finding power, we're sussing him out, head. and then the round is just over at that point. Exactly. If power's not lurking, he ain't mm -hmm. getting kills. There's no win condition without that kind of flank situation is what I've noticed. Exactly. Exactly. If they're not having that, it's, it's not happening. Yep. I'd like to see some more Breach Ultimates come out, too, from UA. Yep, the Rolling Thunder is an absolutely superb piece of utility. Yes. Um, unfortunately, I think it costs eight or nine, so it is quite expensive there. It's because it's so good. Yeah. You know, back in the old days of Valorant, it wasn't just like a straight line of stun. It actually kind of went out in like a cone. Really? So it used to be a little bit worse than it is now, but um, it used to only cost like six. Well, every all only cost six back in the day. I got you. I got you. I got you. Right. I, re I remember those days. Six points. Yeah, Sage was like incredibly broken. It was it was Instalock Sages. Yeah. Shotgun Sage back in the day. So we actually see that breach. Oh, anyway, no. is only one alt point off of this oh, rolling thunder. So close. Bird brain, bird bird brain gets one instantly traded back on the sight take. We do have Wingman planting the spike. We do have uh, Yue in that 
kind of aggressive angle there in heaven, but that omen smoke's gonna fall in about two seconds. I'm hoping that gun barrel isn't really sh Whoa! 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 Huge spray down from UA, absolutely massive, taking out the Cold Blue with the Empress on. Call out sick next time, yeah? Call out sick next time, yeah? Y'all need a gun? I'll spot you. I'm not sure what the chat's saying, but uh, hopefully, don't give out any. Uh, UA is apologizing, probably for being the best player on oh, the server. That's true, for, for hitting those nasty shots out of yep. the Yep, hospital there. flicks, sending people yes. to the literal hospital. Ba bow, ba bow. Mm -hmm. Increasing those medical bills is kind of unfortunate for the enemy team, but. Especially if they don't have insurance. <laughs> You did good. We do have Rolling Thunder up. You know, Rolling Thunder when coupled with the Omen, um, all that I don't actually know the name of despite being an Omen one trick, um, is actually very powerful when put together. Uh, we do have the Viper close left here, but it's completely stunned up. Does manage to get a headshot because of the vulnerable. Oh, but nobody's checking Rays. Nobody's going to check Koblu. Koblu is going to be absolutely massive in this position. But, like, he gets one. Full heal gets two. Instantly Spike traded back by Sadie. A. Huge play from Koblu, but good trade from Sadie. All to the C bomb site, despite the fact that their whole team is there. Sid can actually make it out of there pretty easily. And we do see that power is here. They're just taking aim duels, but 2v2 now. 2v2 situation for the post plant. They're going to play mound. Placing a alarm bot. Great Molly placements there. They're just gonna play mound. That's what you gotta do. Force match point. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's so relieving, isn't it? No, not yet. Uh, we popped that utility a tidge early. Um, but this is a great post plant situation for our Lady Lakers here. We are not actually gonna one arrow. Oh, nice, no. and we get the match point. All match dead? point. I have more tents to run. Five all around. All right, and then could we get match a point. quick look at the scoreboard, please, production? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to look at the scoreboard. Um, so we'll see the econ situation. Um, the Lakers obviously have an advantage. Yes. Because they're the Lakers. They always have an advantage. And I'll tell you what, anchor up. Anchor up, baby. Oh, Easy done. A lot of people coming out for the Lakers. They're just going to try and send it. Fire in the hole! There's so somebody. Comes out from Slim. She double flashbacks in. Is she going to get one? Oh, but going to get gonna taken out by Cold Blue. Doesn't check the corner. That, you know, I've, I've, that's a, that's a common in these corners. That's a, that's a common thing I've been seeing today. Yeah, we need to clear our, clear our corners. Sadie's going to go down as well. 5v3 now for the for the Lakers here. Oh, no, ready. Toria he somehow go. manages to salvage that fight. Oh, you make his feet over there. 2v... Oh, no. oh gotcha. Toria! Oh, but Toria's, Toria's held. Toria is absolutely held here. Yeah, but nobody is actually there. Someone's there. She doesn't know what he's... Right side. Placing it's swamp hard. grenade. Oh, but, Sid knows. Oh, but the, the molly, but not held afterwards. Last does manage to get out. Burst ring does right manage to take it out. A. 1v2 situation. Brimstone is low. We do know where Brimstone is, but we do not know where power is. This is going to be a huge gunfight. They just need to play off each other's angles. Yes. This box is so terrible. Oh, but Sid is taken down by power. Well power. played from them to play together. Yeah, honestly, that's what you have to do there. I mean, especially with your Brimstone being low. There's nothing you can do. Except Agreed. Agreed. Lakers still on match points. Still with full econ. Looks like Sid will put up the uh, turret here just to watch flank. Ready to go. And honestly, it look, but the, look at the quick rotate here from the B bomb site players. We're about to have four here. It's about to be a 4v5 situation with Cypher still on the A site. We do have Thrash detain the Reyna, instantly taken out. But the Viper's hit comes in, but it's a 
bit far. It does give them a lot of room to play with. True, true. For this, they might just leave. You know what? Can I? Oh, it's all going down. It's all going down for the rollers. This could be it. This could be it. I think that we leave. I don't think that we one push the power against one. One, okay, 1v3 yep, situation. We know that Viper is still in her ultimate. She just gets the pick. Ares Pro needs to be taken down right now. Spike planted. 3v1. 3v1 situation for Ares Pro. It It is still winnable for Ares Pro, but Ares Pro had to play it absolutely fantastic. We do need to make sure that the Lakers are all playing on site together. I think that... That would be the best course of action here. Yeah, one of the ones are not it. We need to make sure that we have post plant utility, which we kind of have in the Killjoy Nano Swarms. Viper smoke comes out. She just taps. We'll get paranoid. And the Lakers do it! It's done! The Lakers do it! Yay! And here we there's our producer, Andrew, in the background there. Let's go! Oh my goodness. After so many rounds, the rollers. The rollers. The they rollers get rolled. Get they get rolled. Ah, ah, ah. They get rolled. Throw it down. At the end of the day, it's the rollers Lakers through and through. Uh, anchor up, baby. <sighs> GVSU takes the series after a 40-round game of split. We might have a team interview yes. in here. Yes. And we'll catch you right back.
Okay, so here we are with the three members of our victorious Game Changers roster. And how are you guys feeling today after that grueling map two? Exhausted. I'm so tired. <laughs> awesome. So I kind of just want to like run through what what did Avery talk to you guys about in those timeouts that you guys had? Because it just seemed like often when we would kind of lose momentum, Avery would just call a timeout and then it'd get better. Oh, we need to take our time. Yeah. He just um, was honestly there to reset our mental because sometimes you saw those rounds where we just were falling apart. And yeah. He was there to reset it for us and yeah. get our game plan back, Definitely. Game plan back in. That's exactly what kind of uh, Term and I were talking about. We uh, saw that uh, oftentimes you guys would just kind of take it slower, and that mental reset is honestly huge, and he's an experienced player, so it's kind of definitely very nice. Uh, how are you guys feeling after map two specifically? Just like <laughs> oh in, in isolation, like after round 40, that ended, how are you feeling? Uh, I chugged a Red Bull. I chugged a Red Bull? <laughs> I got 30 kills. I, had, I ended with 50 that map, so yeah. well, like 50 t map two, you know. <laughs> was trying to shoot for 40, but <laughs> we're exhausted, yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, how do you guys feel kind of about, like, they just ran the same team comp. They just ran yeah. mm -hmm. over and over again. How do you guys, like, feel? Do you feel like they made any adjustments whatsoever to their play style? No. 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 I think that they honestly were lacking certain util to push us out of, like, yeah. cer like situations. Mm -hmm. Like, I was able to get to Rebel on Lotus so many times. Yeah, every and round. they could have flushed me out, but they didn't. They just kind of left me there. And I kind of felt, like, the same way on Split, right? Like, they didn't have any really offensive utility. I think that's kind of why that game went so long. Yeah. yeah. Um, it just you guys went on defense and yeah 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 it, it, that that was just very long i'm sure that you guys are all uh, oh yeah it, it's crazy that you guys were able to maintain mental through that though that was awesome i would not have been able to <laughs> um so when you guys were going into map three on lotus what were you guys thinking i was ready to run it down i ready was gonna to tap down. heads but obviously i wasn't so mm -hmm. it's okay i picked it up yeah i was gonna say <laughs> she picked it up for us she, yeah. she was our mvp that game that game was absolutely fantastic. Uh, that was exactly everything we wanted to see on map two. Uh, it's okay that it didn't happen. Um, I'm sure you guys. I mean, you guys were actually playing. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, yeah. How do you feel? What do you do? You have anything to say to the, your friends and family who have maybe watched this stream? Um, if you stuck around the whole time, thank you. That was very long. No, You're literally. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, Sid's mom. Awesome. Hi, mom. Hi, Grandma. Thank you guys so much for the interview. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.